Oh, the goat. Oh, the goat. Oh, God. Oh. My God. My goat. Oh. Oh, my God, man. How the time flies, man. How the time flies, man. How they make the whole goat? Like, how they make... How they make the greatest game ever? 20 years later, they still ain't top the shit. People been born. Weren't even alive when the goat came out. All these generation of Sony fans. And they still ain't top the goat. <laughs> how? <laughs> what you guys do, man? Man, like... Well, I mean, you had some decent attempts. You know, you tried. You know? Like, I mean, I love Unleash. Sonic Rush, I mean, love that too. Like, half a generations? Like, like, you had some good attempts, man. Like, you did. Like, like serious ones. You tried, but like... It ain't the GOAT, though. It ain't the GOAT, though. <laughs> it's just... It ain't. Like, I'm sorry, there's some things that they just they just remain at the top, man. And this is one of those things. It's like Die Hard, the first one, the best one. Like, like it just it, they couldn't they couldn't go higher after that. It was just one of those things, man. They, they peaked, like they peaked. Like, you can't just you can't just create the greatest game ever and just surpass it. Like, that don't just happen. Like, it, it's submitted now. It's just like. It won a Guinness World Record. That's not a lie. That's real. You can look down. It won a Guinness World Record. Wait, this shit is cemented. It's in the history books. I know people don't read no more, but that shit in the books. Okay? That shit in the motherfucking books is the GOAT. I mean, that's not why it won a Guinness World Record. It did win one, but not for being the GOAT, unfortunately. But you know what I mean. Okay? Like, it's just, it's, it's certified. It's cemented. Like, Yuji Naka and Izuka just sat down together. Where's the picture? Where's the, where's, where's the picture, right? Where's the photo? You know what photo I'm talking about. Where's the picture? Oh, where's the picture? There's a specific picture of the two of them I'm looking for. It was like an interview or something. They sat there. There was a photo. Someone knows what photo I'm talking about, right? They were sitting there and there was like Sonic Heroes in the background. Yeah, I can't seem to find it. Just when you just when you need the shit, that's when you can't find it. Ugh. It's a good photo too. I see it on my computer, but yeah. You know, I can't I can't seem to find it now. It's a good picture. Yo, Frankie Hedgebob donated four dollars ninety nine. Said if Heroes has a million fans, then Prem is one of them. If Heroes has one fan, then Prem is that one. If Heroes has no fans, that means Prem is dead. That's 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 pretty much it, man. That's pretty much it. Um, man, I feel like I had that photo say somewhere. I had that photo say somewhere. It was a good picture. Um. I got it on my computer, but I don't know where I saved it. It was just a, a goaded photo. Uh. Someone said there's a reason they haven't remastered this mid. I, get, I bet I can pinpoint multiple Sonic games you love that never got remastered too. So, I mean, they don't remaster shit. What was the, like, Colors? Is, is that it? That's it. That, that wasn't even a multiplayer, okay? This was the first multiplayer, okay? Don't play with a GOAT. Don't play with a GOAT. It was only being remastered so that you could play on every on every system, but the GOAT already did that shit. <laughs> the GOAT already did that shit, okay? Like, okay. Obviously, I didn't actually play it in 2003, right? Because 
it came out, it had a very staggered release, right? 30th December 2003 in Japan. You're probably thinking, well, it's only 29th December because my time zone is the only correct time zone. In Japan, it's the 30th, okay? In Japan, it's currently 5.38 in the morning in the 30th, which means exactly 20 years ago at this point, there was some kid who had good taste, who was waking up early, begging his parents so he could go to whatever shop, whatever game shop was in Japan in 2003, so he could go and buy the greatest game ever made. You know, like, some kid with good taste. You know, I didn't know what it was then. Like, Heroes was not a game that I knew about pre-release. The first Sonic game I knew about pre-release is probably Shadow the Hedgehog, Rush, you know, Riders 06, like those era. All the ones before that, I kind of just discovered when they were out. Like, for those of you who don't know my history, when it comes to Sonic, I had an older brother, he had a Dreamcast, right? I still don't remember which game I played first between SA1 and SA2. Because we had SA2 on a pirate disc, right? The Dreamcast, one of the reasons it failed is because it was so easy to pirate. We had like a blank, you know, you know those blank white discs? Those of you who remember the disc era, shit like this, right? One day my bro came home, you know, with a bag full of discs like this, with marker on them that had the game names on them, right? And it was like a ton of games. I guess some guy had burnt them onto disc and he was selling them for dirt cheap. So my bro bought a whole bag. One of the games in that bag was Sonic Adventure 2. So naturally, once we got the whole bag full of discs, we tried everything and I gravitated towards Sonic Adventure 2. But also, where's this, where's this, um, also we had this other game and this wasn't pirated. It was called the Dream On Collection. Yeah, this shit. This shit, okay? See this shit here? It was a collection full of a bunch of shit, right? You see it says here, Dream On Collection 4. It's got movies on it? Apparently it had Sonic Shuffle. I didn't even know it had Sonic Shuffle on it. But you see here, at the playable section, it says Sonic Adventure, right? This was a demo, right? So it, it was just Emerald Coast, right? So I had one level of Sonic Adventure as a kid, before obviously I played DX. But on the Dreamcast, one level of Sonic Adventure, and then the whole Sonic Adventure 2 pirated. I can't tell you for the life of me which one I play first. I, I feel like I played SA2 first, and then play the demo afterwards. Like, well, if this is Sonic Adventure 2, then I should check out Sonic Adventure 1 on this disc, right? But, you know, memories crossed, whatever. I believe SA2 was the first Sonic game I played, and then the adventure demo was afterwards, but it could have been the other way around. But those are one and two in terms of what I played first. SA2 was like my love. Right? Because, I mean, Sonic is cool, right? Let's be real. Sonic is fucking cool. Then I saw this shit. Then I saw this shit. It was when I saw this shit. Because, like, you when I play SA2, I was like, I like this game, right? I like this game. But when I saw this shit, it was like, it was no longer I like this game. It was like, I like this franchise. Okay? It was no longer like, that game is cool, you know? It was, it was, that wasn't, a, it was like, when I saw this, you know like, people that get addicted to drugs, right? It's like the first time you take the drug, it's like, you could stop, you could never take it again, you try cocaine once, okay, cool. I don't, don't do that, kids, don't try drugs. But then you take it a certain amount of times, you hit that one time where it's like, okay, now I'm hooked now, like, I can't stop, right? This was that. This was, it was like, okay, I played SA2, I enjoyed it. I played SA1 demo, I enjoyed, I saw this. I can't, this Sonic shit in my blood now, it's, 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 it's there. Like, you cut me open, you blue coming out. Like, that, that was it, okay? It, it was it was done. It was, after that, it was done. There was no leaving now. They hooked me for life. I was stuck with this fucking franchise. No matter how many fucking forces they dropped, I was stuck because they made the GOAT. They made the GOAT, it was, it was a wrap, okay? And I've been trying to pinpoint for the longest time when I actually played the game. Because I know I played it the week I went to Disneyland Paris, right? But now I figured out when I played it, okay? It was 2005, all right? Let me set the stage. Let me set the stage, okay. The greatest animated movie of all time was out. I'm referring to The Incredibles, of course. Um, as you can see here, being that I was from the UK, it came out in the UK. Ignore these, like, film festival shits came out in the UK end of November 2004. 
which means I either saw it at the end of 2004 or somewhere in 2005. Anyway, I told you I, I, I played the GOAT first the week I went to Disneyland Paris. Turns out I went there in August 2005, just before my 10th birthday, okay? I'm August 31st, for the record. So, there was one day in the middle of the week where my parents, they wanted some alone time. So they took me and my friend, they put me and her in this like daycare for the day. So instead of being in Disneyland, we were like slightly outside Disneyland Paris in some daycare. You know them daycares where they got the console locked up in the cage and you gotta tell the person in charge just to change the game? That type of shit, right? We get there, right? Remember at this point I've only played like SA2 and like one level of SA1. We get there, they got the GameCube locked in the cage. Kids playing it. He's playing Ocean Palace Teen Sign. I'm like, what the fuck is that shit? What? Uh huh. Let me set. Let me set the stage. Let me set the stage. Let me let me set the let me set the stage. Okay. Where's the image? Okay. Where's the image? Okay. Let's get a good let's get a good shot of this shit. It wasn't actually at this section. It was at it was at it was at an earlier section of the level. But yeah, you get what I mean, right? They were at the level. I was like. What the fuck is this shit? I mean, I immediately recognized Sonic because I played tons of SA2, like, you know. So I was like, "That's Sonic. That's that's Tails. That's Knuckles." But they like together and shit, like, they, and they switching the shit. Like, what the? I didn't even know I wanted this shit. I didn't even know that I wanted this shit. And then I saw the shit and I was like, "How the fuck? How in tarnation did I even exist for almost ten years?" without this shit like like this shit just existed like this shit just existed and i just i i didn't know about it like like they could do that shit man like that's crazy man uh that's crazy um so eventually it was my turn to play and i shit you not this is how i felt in the moment people might think i'm exaggerating the moment hand touched controller, and I experienced mere seconds of Ocean Palace. Seconds. I was like, this is better than SA2. The moment, I, I swear, I swear. Hand touched controller, I was like, nah, this is the greatest thing ever. What? Like, what? Like, I remember because my friend, she was like, I used to go on and on about SA2. Like, she was like, man, this guy fucking always talking about SA2. Like, we used to play on, she had a dream cost as well. I used to play on a dream. Oh, this guy always talking about SA2. And then this thing happened, and she was like, man, you don't even talk about SA2 anymore. Like, what? Like, you just like. Now, now it's just hero. Like, what? Like, you know, to the point where she ended up buying an Xbox just so we could play Heroes at our house. Like, anyway. <laughs> yeah. I got one more thing to show before we start playing the GOAT. Uh, one more thing to show. As I was digging for the dates, obviously I said it was August, but this is how I found out. I had to back up one of my, my dad's old laptops. I was talking early 2000s XP era shit that I played as a kid. And when I'm going through that laptop, I found old photos. I'm not going to show all the Disneyland photos because, you know, we're going to be here for ages. But I'll show you one photo from Disneyland Paris the week I discovered the GOAT. This is me posing. You know, next to the, the greatest anime movie of all time, naturally. Um, there you go. So, this was the week that this person's life changed forever. This was the week that this person discovered the pinnacle of gaming for Returnity, essentially. And he would never be the same. He, did, he didn't realize it. I don't know if this was taken the, the, after Heroes or before Heroes. I don't know if it was AH or BH. It's not BC. It's not... <laughs> no. I don't know if it was taken... A8, no, off the GOAT or before GOAT. I don't know if it was AG or BG, but that week, bro's life changed. <laughs> Whether he knew or not in this picture, I don't know. It could have been a few days after, could be a few days before, but but bro's life changed. He it was just like, he didn't even know what he was in for. He thought he was coming to Disneyland, was going to ride some rides, take some pictures with Goofy. Like, he, he, didn't, he didn't know. How are you going to put that button on it? He didn't know he was going to discover the GOAT. Like, he was in, he was an innocent boy. He was like nine, on his way to ten, on his way to ten, 
And, and you're gonna just put the goat on him? Like, can he handle that shit? Like, can he even handle that shit? What? He was just a boy! Like, didn't even ease him into this shit. Like, straight to the goat. Like, how are you gonna go Disneyland Paris? Right? One of the coolest places in the world. And still discover something cooler. Still discover something cooler. You're at Disneyland Paris. And you come back from the holiday thinking like, what was the coolest thing you did at Disneyland Paris? And it wasn't actually be at Disneyland Paris. It was discovering the goat. How do you, how do you beat Disneyland? Like, what the fuck? The fuck? What? Oh my God. But now this shit 20 years old, man. Ugh. Wherever the coders are, okay? I'm just saying, okay? Hackers are gonna leak the source code for GTA 5. They're going crazy right now. Games getting decompiled. Source codes are getting leaked. Insomniac, Wolverine. They got the playable builds and shit. Where's my source code for the GOAT, okay? Give me my shit, okay? I want my higher refresh rate because I'm not relying on Sega 3 most of the game. Let's be real. We saw Cards Ultimate. We need a community, okay? This source code gonna get revealed, decompiled. I don't care, okay? It's gonna get revealed so you can get that true widescreen. None of that mods with the issues and shit. You get that true widescreen, higher refresh rates, save files that don't cap at 99 hours, whatever the fuck. Quality of life. I need my shit, okay? Because, you know, it's been 20 years, okay? And they're not gonna remaster this game anytime soon. Because, I mean, that's, they probably got things higher in the priority list for them, like, probably the adventure games and, you know, maybe Generations, I don't know, right? The only way this is getting a re-release, the only way I believe Heroes will get a re-release in the next three years is most likely if the Switch 2 has GameCube Virtual Console and Sega's just like, yeah, throw the GameCube ROM on there, you know, whatever. Like, they, I, I can see them doing that, but I don't see them actually doing a proper remaster for Heroes. Not, not now. Like, you know, especially since Azuka still runs Sonic Team and he was damn near going ill trying to finish the GOAT. You know, they left him to work on like a lot of it by himself, so he's probably got some negative memories associated with it. But I mean, greatness is not made easily, right? Okay, like, you know, he suffered clearly. You know, was it worth it? I mean, it's tough to say. No, it's not tough to say. It was worth it. I'm, I'm sorry. Okay, like this shit was the goat. Okay, it was the goat. Okay, but you know. Ah, anyway. Whew. I think that's it for the rant. It wasn't a rant. It was a story time. Okay, I'm one of those story time tubers now. Like, oh my god, story time. Like, yeah, that's that was that. Okay. I just have to set the stage. People don't understand. Okay, they don't understand. Um, nah, I'm gonna try to play the game and the controller's not gonna work. <laughs> That's another thing that a, a re-release would actually really help with is controller support. Like, old PC ports, man, it's such a pain to run. Like, and I grew up with those games, but like, even like Prince of Persia, Sands of Time, like trying to play them on modern computers, it's all sorts of random issues be showing up and it's just like, it gets annoying. You know, sometimes you just want a newer port to play a game. Ugh. All right. Let me check my DualShock 4. Um, it should be set to, it's set to DualShock 4. Uh, let me make sure Steam input is off actually. That's probably what's causing it. Yeah, I think Steam input is, would be causing an issue. Ugh. All right, cool. It was Steam input that was causing issues, so it's working now. All right, you play Heroes on Steam? Yeah, I mean, you can play on Dolphin, but I just played a PC port, honestly. Dolphin port is better in some ways, but, you know. I just realized you said Steam. It's not actually Steam, it's just the PC port running on Steam as a non-Steam game, that's it. It's not actually a Steam game. Before I start confusing people, it's not on Steam, no.
Someone said this is pre-recorded. Oh yeah, I just pre-recorded the boy thing. Yeah. What would it take for me to stream the Rivals games? I actually did a, a playthrough of Rivals 1. It's still on my channel. And I did stream Rivals 2, but I think I private that stream because it wasn't that good of a stream. Ugh. And I put a game on right here. Oh my gosh. Also, what I made of is the best vocal theme in the series. Uh, well, that's a given, right? And this is also like top five. This thing here, so. Ugh. That frame rate. But speaking of frame rate, huh? I saw a video on YouTube. Um, someone took. I actually used it in one of my shorts recently. Someone took the Shadow of the Hedgehog like intro, the CGI shit. And like upscaled it to 8K and like smoothed out the frames using AI. Um, that shit looked crazy. Um, it was insane. Like what people are doing with this AI shit to like upscale and increase the frames and shit. You know, I'm, I'm guessing someone's probably done it with heroes, but you know, I've got so many files here. Is that a Chaotix file? Let me see. It must be just another file that I created. I don't know. I mean, we don't really have to create a new file, but... You know what? 20th anniversary, right? File 20. I remember when I was younger. When I was younger, I said I was going to 100% the game twice a year. So two save files a year. So that within 50 years, before I died, out of 100%ed every single save file of the 99 files of Heroes. I mean, I kind of gave up on that dream because, like, life got in the way and shit. But, like, you know, it would have been so cool if I did that. Unleash said Heroes OST grade and SA2 OST. Oh, okay, I'm, okay, that's that's a bit wild, though. That's a bit wild, though. That's a bit wild. That's a bit wild, though. Like, I would, I, there's some high points. There's specific songs I'll say that on, but like, no, that's it. SA2 OST, no, that shit was crazy. That shit was crazy, okay? Like, Keys the Ruin hit different, okay? Like, the Adventure OSTs are the best OSTs in the series. That and like 06 and Rush. That's like the top four, right? It's like SA, SA1, SA2, 06, Rush. Like, those OSTs are just like crazy. Someone said CD OST quiz. <laughs> Good one. Ugh. You almost had me there for a second. For a second, I thought you had bad taste. Ugh. Hello, I'm Idol. In this. You really lose a life for restart the tutorial. That's wild. I should have set my monitor to 60 hertz because it, it improves the frame times. I might have to still do that actually. I don't know if that will break my stream though. We'll see. That's the thing about these old ports, you gotta be careful. Because I was playing on my Steam Deck OLED, I was playing Heroes, and because the Steam Deck OLED is at 90 hertz, the frame times are messed up, which makes it seem more choppy. But when you set the Steam Deck OLED to 60, then the frame times even out. I didn't, I didn't realize that was happening on my PC as well. It's been a while since I played on the PC, because it's obviously the Steam Deck. So I want to fix that. 
Come on. It looks so vibrant, man. It's it's actually crazy. I made I recorded a video with it. I still haven't posted it. Um, I was trying out Sonic games on the Steam Deck. Blast away! The gauge for Team Blast is energized by collecting items. With Ugh. That's it. Blast away! Whenever I'm trying to re remember if I'm like still sharp on my hero skills, I try and beat the tutorial in under two minutes just to make sure I'm still sharp. If it takes me longer than two minutes, then that means I need to de-rust, basically. Ugh. How did I get the Heroes PC port to run on Steam? Well, I mean, any PC game can run on Steam as a, as a non-Steam game. You just add it as a non-Steam game. It's not really a, a Steam game. Um, but hold on, let me, um, let me change the monitor to 60 hertz so that this thing doesn't have all the all the what's it called yeah put it on 60 hertz hopefully that doesn't break my stream my stream broken okay cool oh god 60 hertz is so choppy oh my god anyway ah i was gonna show something someone asked something i was gonna show a picture all right i remember now I remember now. Where's the photo? Um, yeah, I don't know if that's gonna look vibrant on your screen, but it's a very vibrant image. Um, it looks very sharp. Like, well, not sharp because it's still 800p, but like, the colors are it's rich. It's it's very rich. Um, but yeah. Ah. Oh yeah, another thing about old PC ports, I try and click and go to my stream chat, and then it minimizes the game. Nowadays, with borderless windowed mode or shit like that, that wouldn't happen. You know. I mean, PC ports have just come a long way, that's all I'm saying, right? 60 FPS is choppy to print. 60 FPS is definitely, it definitely doesn't feel smooth once you play that 144. It, it feels okay. I mean, it's no thud, you know, but you will notice it. Ah. Alright, all that ranting made me need to go and pee. So I'm gonna pee, and then we will start the vote.
Ugh. How have you been enjoying the greatest mini music ever created? I've been shouting so much, I'm gonna lose my voice, man. Ugh. Where's my strep cells? Can't say that when SA1. SA1 doesn't have better mini music than this. Menu music? Nah. Mm -mm. This shit is gold, man. Sometimes I could just sit on the screen for ages. Looking at all these characters that won that Guinness World Record. Mm. Why is the game stretched? Because the widescreen mods have got issues. That's why it's stretched. None of the widescreen mods are perfect. They keep all the menu elements squashed at 4x3. They have pop-in on the objects at the corners that are not 4x3. There's no perfect widescreen mode for this game. They all got issues. That's why I still play Stretch. Now you see, if the game got decompiled and we had the source code, it would be fixed by now. But, alas, this is not one of the most modded Sonic games, or most supported Sonic games. In fact, most people don't even know how to get this PC port. Granted, you know, you can't buy it brand new anymore, so there is that. Ah, anyway. Let's blast through with Sonic Speed! Okay! Alright! Mega Collection is out there as well. They don't beat this. Long time no see. Sonic, check this out. <laughs> Guess what, Sonic heroes? I'm finally the ultimate weapon. Green eggs of Conqueror Power. Think you can stop me? <laughs> they had tablets back in 03. Like My goat had iPad before iPad. Sonic? No, no bezel as well. Eggman was sending out tablets and no bezels back in 03. Yeah, let's party. Ahead of his time. Heroes was ahead of his time, like I call it. Ugh. Alright, it's goat time. Mm. Deem's lost game. Wasn't he in Advance 3, technically? Yeah. I feel like the first day that I play this game, I hired a 60 hertz. Whenever some fan figures out how to do it, I feel like I'm going to clean myself. I go back to the first time there was an 06 PC remake, like the first time. The first time. You know. The first ever video I made on like a 06 fan PC me, remake, I was like insanely hyped. Like, it was crazy. It's gonna be like that. Like the first time I see this game, I like hire. Like there's been so many games that I love that I've gone back to a one for four, and it was like a different experience. It's just like I can't imagine. Oh shit! Actually, let me get a key. I can't imagine. Playing this at like a smoother frame rate, it's gonna be insane. Let Sonic take care of this. Ugh. Some of the submerged sea ruins move when you get close to them. Let's leave this to Tails. The drummer was killing it, though. To ascend while flying. Press the A button repeatedly to increase the speed of ascent. Alright. 
boat. I know people don't like this Tails voice. It's not my favorite. It's also not my least favorite. Yes. But I do like that they got the guy from Drake and Josh. Although he was in this before Drake and Josh, to be fair. I just found that funny. <laughs> that annoying dude for Drake and Josh was the voice of Tails in this game. That's just such a funny connection. I don't know. Best left to Tails. Okay, glitch time. That was great. We keep it moving. We keep it moving. Here we go. I think speedrunners actually do that shit intentionally. Got it. I've seen yeah, speedrunners right. use that shit, but it's all you can definitely get it by accident as well. Okay. Maybe said Drake and Josh. Is that a lost son of a TV show? Very funny. It's the second best show on Nickelodeon. Sonic take care of this. Got it. Here we go. Too cool. Yeah, was really the the Corridor Wild gameplay. Why do you want to say too fanboy? You talk about Corridor gameplay? You played those speed stages, right? It's universally accepted that SA2 started a Corridor gameplay. Not that I don't like Corridor gameplay. It can be done well. But SA2 clearly started that. Like, you play SA1 Sonic Rollers, and then you play SA2 Sonic Rollers. It's like a night and day. Alright, so new file. I should probably, like, get wives and shit. Something on the That's it. some point. Yes. yes! Ugh. Alright. First A rank of the day. Someone said, is it the GOAT because of nostalgia bias? No, I've got nothing to do with nostalgia. I mean, I played SA2 before Heroes. Why is that not the GOAT? You know, I also played Simpsons Hit and Run the same year I played Sonic Heroes. Why is that not the GOAT? You know, played Shadow the Hedgehog. Like the same year Heroes came out. I mean, the same year I played Heroes. That was tight. Why that not the goat? <laughs> you know. Why do you need lives if you plan on slaying? Well, if I'm slaying, I should be getting lives because I'd be collecting rings, right? Plus, you know, there's a few bosses that, you know, those team-based battles. Like, if I want an A rank, I might have to retry those. So, I might have to do a few retries on that. I was never the biggest fan of the team battles, to be fair. You have to get on the 30 seconds to get A rank. But, you know, they're just not the most 
consistent in terms of what it's supposed to do. Like, there's apparently, like, strategies, but I think the PC is also a bit different when it comes to that. So, like, when it comes to my A rank in the game, team battles always seem to be a bit hit or miss. And everything else, I'm pretty much consistent. But yeah, playing this game on later operating systems, it definitely has more frame rate or frame time increasing issues. Issues that weren't noticeable when I played on like XP or well, I'm gonna say actually yes. Windows 7 era. Like the game was like it's, it's like the game has gotten kind of choppier in a way. Although I managed to fix it on the Steam Deck OLED, but even now that I'm playing it, it feels like choppier than playing it on the Steam Deck. for my favorite level. So what do I like about heroes? Pretty much everything, except for maybe some of the ready to take them out. Do I prefer Heroes Special Stage over Generations 3DS? Isn't Generations 3DS the one where they just copied the Heroes ones but made the control of it tile? Level up. I haven't played them in a while to compare. I'll take care of this. But I remember it being basically that. But Hero Special Stages aren't my favorite Special Stages anyway. My favorite Special I'll Stages are uh, Sonic Rush, Sonic 4 Episode 2, and Mania. Cool. That's like the top 3 yes. for me. Let's go up there. In fact, honestly, my favorite way to play Heroes is Super Hard Mode. No Special Stages, no bosses, just straight levels. Back to back to back. And there's no rankings in Super Hard Mode, which means like you don't feel guilty about skipping enemies. You can just kind of just take the fastest route. I don't think Lane is much stage are gonna be tough for you. Yeah, I mean I get that. They kind of just like they went crazy. Like it's like a game on its own, really. Ocean Palace is the kind of level that I, I shit you not, like, I boot up this game and I could play Ocean Palace Team Sonic and then play Ocean Palace Team Dark and then play Ocean Palace Team Rose and then play Ocean Palace Team Hale and not get sick like, it's just that level for me. Change the jump angle. Said anything. Okay, hold on. I almost restarted. Ugh, okay. Let me see. Mm. Let me turn it down to like 60. Actually, let me update my um, description because I think I'm using an old description. Let me know how the levels are now. Well, at least he'll carry it and not us. Looks like that case is being watching this on and see how much you wish Dreams Team and Heroes big cats switching. Yeah, I guess I figured because they designed it for like. 
because they designed it for like touch screens, they weren't gonna have all those like button optimized things. So it's like tap this thing to then pick a character to switch to kind of thing. The seamlessness is gone because they have to cater to that simpler, you know, that simpler like button layout or input mode. Imagine playing this at 144 Hertz, man. Like, seriously. Oh my god, that was so crazy. The day this game gets decompiled, oh my god. Rip. Rip. About to take the high road, bro. Oh yeah, I need to play Dream Team one more time. Cause my Apple, my Apple Arcade is gonna expire, so I should kind of like play it again. Before. Actually, I didn't even cancel the Apple Arcade because they said if you cancel it, you stop getting access now. You don't, you don't get it for the rest of the month. But it was a free trial, so they don't have to. Oh yeah, people said there was no momentum in Heroes, but, I mean, there you go. Yes. <sighs> renew it? Why would I renew Apple Arcade? Is that updates to Dream Team? Someone will get announcements or post for these content for Dream Team soon to keep people subscribed. I mean, they would have to add a lot for me to keep paying for Apple Arcade. I don't know. Q, someone ask me why I'm not boosting. Of Apple Arcade game was cool. Oh, yeah, I did say I was gonna try that. I saw that. Ugh. Boy, Dream Team's in the things open for additional content. Yeah, I mean, I guess we'll see. I think you got that back, this duck. God fucking hell! Demon drumming man, shit! They just, they went in. What was it one minute for an A rank on this? If I don't get an A rank, I'll restart.
I haven't streamed Heroes in a long time. I mean, it's been a while, I guess. But that's because most of the viewers don't appreciate it, so it's like, I just play on my own. Hmm. Ready for the junk pile. How did I get the GOAT working on Steam? It's really just, it's a PC port. It's just added to Steam as a non-Steam game. That's it. You can add any non-Steam game to Steam just by adding Looks a non-Steam like game. Eggman escaped into the city. Eggman's robots are taking control of everything. Let's find Eggman and show him the real power of teamwork. This must be his automated energy plant. Energy plant? Well, that energy is going through his red pipe. Mm -hmm. This is like the only level you can beat as just Sonic, you know, without doing any crazy shit like glitches or anything. Like, you can just pretty much just beat this whole level of Sonic. Yeah. Take this. Level up. We're not going there, are we? Yes, we are. Level up. How low can he go sounds like, like a fucking like a, like a dance song or something. Remember Cha Cha Slide? How low can he go? Can he go down low? All the way to the flow? How low? Am I an old man? You guys know Cha Cha Slide, right? <laughs> uh, Cha Cha Slide? You mean that thing that Drake said on Back Outside Boys? Like, I don't know what you're talking about, bro. Okay, thank gosh. Cause I be mentioning some classic shit and people just don't be knowing what I'm talking about sometimes. Like, like I mention Thong Song and people are like, what's Thong Song? I'm like, come on. Do I take unnecessary risk? Sure, why not? There we go. Ugh. Getting the key to the end of our game is probably one of your favorite special stage entrance requirements. Yeah, I mean, it's not really too much of a problem because Team Rose just makes it so chill. You know? It's funny because when I'm not, when I'm not trying to do it is, is 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 when I hold on to the key, and then when I'm trying to do it, I'm conscious of it. That's when I mess up. Yeah. Yeah. Son, do something about that robot shield, will you? Ugh. Maybe you consider getting a Steam Deck OLED just for Hero. I mean, look, Heroes is the GOAT, but like a Steam Deck OLED is, is a great machine in general. Like, it plays so many games, man. I've been playing Ollie Ollie World on there. Like, it's just like everything just looks good on the OLED, man. Not a single game looks bad. What's annoying though is any game that doesn't have cloud saves or doesn't have or doesn't run on Steam. Right, like Prince of Persia, one of my favorite franchises ever, is getting a new game in January, and Ubisoft being the fools that they are, they're not putting on Steam. So trying to install Ubisoft's launcher just to play that on the Steam Deck OLED is a pain, so I probably won't play it there. But I got a Lenovo Legion Garage on Windows, so, you know, I could probably just play it on there. Got the Switch earlier for Christmas and the change from the original Switch so OLED was insane. Oh yeah, like, which is why the, the Switch 2 rumors saying that they're gonna ditch OLED for Switch 2 is fucking annoying. 
Because you know they're just going to wait a few years and then charge you for an OLED Switch 2. It's like, don't don't go backwards. You know, don't do that. Like, no one wants that. You literally traded in your Xbox One X for a Series S the same night that Unleashed 60 FPS patch came out. I was tempted to cop a Series S just for that, but... I mean... For one game? Like... I mean, look, if the Series S could play Heroes at 144, 4K, true widescreen, I'd cop it for that. I mean, I'd do that. You think Drummond could have cooked for Sonic X if they kept him in? I mean, Jason was just so good in X, though. I wouldn't want to do it without him. Although, the way the AI tools are now, you could effectively just switch out. Um, one voice for another now. It's actually, we're at that point where you could do that. Oh yeah, speaking of AI tools, there's a tool right now, I mean it's in its infancy, so it's not that good yet, but it's a tool right now that can change the art style of any video. So as in like, I could put in like an animated show and make it live action using AI, or put in a live action show and turn it into a cartoon or turn it into an anime just through AI, just run it through, and like, those of us in the AI community, yes, I'm in the AI community, we're just talking about how the future's gonna be full of, like, companies re-releasing old movies in different styles, so I imagine, like, take a live-action movie and just run it through an AI and then make the same movie but animated, like, just like that, you know, and I was thinking about the Sonic movies, like, how at some point I'll be able to do that, just run like Sonic Movie 2 through an AI, and then it's like animated now. Like, that's just crazy to me, man. Yes! Ugh. Oh shit, I got a donation. Florian Kais donated $1, said playing Frontiers Final Horizon DLC and it's annoying how much it both expects pinpoint accuracy in platforming, but also a deep understanding of how to use the physics to give Sonic extra hang time in the air to reach certain platforms on the towers do better. Um, I mean, the towers definitely involve like people that fully understand the mechanics. I don't know if they did a good enough job teaching those mechanics to do something like that. But for someone like me who, I guess, knew how to do all that, I guess it was fine. But it would be hard to recommend, like, the Final Horizon DLC to, like, a casual player. I feel like if IGN reviewed that DLC, they'd probably be very not generous. God, this was the level that, as a kid, oh my god. God, the amount of times I just had to game over on this level, man. It's the reason why I beat Team Rose and Team Doc first. Because Team Doc, you could stop time on the lava section, which made it easier than Team Sonic. And Team Rose didn't have the lava section. I still talk to the girl that played Heroes? No. No, that ended horribly. Horribly. I'm not gonna talk about that. And the reason it ended horribly had nothing to do with Sonic before someone comes up with some fan fiction. That wasn't why. <laughs> oh gosh. In fact, when I used to play Dreamcast as a kid, like, you know, let's take the flight route. When I used to play Dreamcast as a kid, none of the people I played with, like, not my bro, 
not like the family friends I used to play. None of them really fucked with Sonic. Like it was just me. Like when people say nostalgia, blindness, I just laugh because like dead ass. It was like four of us playing that one dream course, and I was the only one who wanted to play Sonic. So clearly, I just fucking loved this shit, right? It had nothing to do with like nostalgia. Cause the most nostalgia I had was like multiplayer shit. Like anything I played with like yes. friends. Like Mario Kart 64 was hella nostalgic because we did full player. That was nostalgia. Virtual Athlete 2K on the Dreamcast. That was nostalgic because we did full player. That was like I have a lot of good memories with that. But like the stuff I play by myself is the stuff I play by myself because it was just that fun. Like like you know. Why are you giving Tails to level up? Everyone needs some. God. Speaking of Mario Kart 64, they got to hurry up with the decompilation. I know they're working on one. I want my Mario Kart 64 native PC port. I'm gonna put that shit on my Steam Deck OLED. Alright. Older brother hated Sonic. <laughs> yeah, I had a friend who I used to play him. Um, Heroes Mode player with a different friend. We should take care of them. First. Like, I guess he thought I was gonna grow out of Sonic. Like, like, cause I knew him for like years. I'm like, okay, now we're like 13. You still like Sonic? Really? Like, I'd come home for the summer from like boarding school, and he'd have like a PS3 or whatever. Like, I'm like, let's play 06. Well, back then we didn't call it 06. We just called it like Sonic. The 06 thing was an online thing. I, I didn't know it was called that. Let's play more of that Sonic the Hedgehog. He's like, really? But he'd still play it with me, because I mean, it was his console, right? He could play whatever he wanted when I went home. But like, he wanted to play college and like Saints Row and shit. And I'm just like, but, but, but Sonic. <laughs> but sometimes I play Cold him though, but like, he could tell that. It was just, I didn't give a fuck. I was like, I wanted the Sonic. This might be my favorite light dash in the whole game. I just like how it just goes straight into the spring. It's just very satisfying. It's kind of like the crazy da gadget light dash. You know that one light dash in crazy gadget? Like, that shit is just lit. I had an idea once. I never actually made it to the video because I couldn't be bothered. I had an idea for like top 10 best light dashes in the series. Just cool light dash moments. And that one in Power Plant, plus the crazy gadget one I was just mentioning, they would have been in that list. Now that I've said it, someone's gonna jack my idea, but, you know. Ugh. This is what it is. Yo, what's up, Bradley? I know this must be hard for you to watch, but, you know, for some of us, this is still the goal. These sections in Team Dark, they really cooked. Like, Team Dark Power Plant is the best power plant. I mean, usually Team Sonic has the best levels. I just lost my key. Wonderful. Usually Team Sonic has the best levels, but Team Dark Power Plant is better. And also, Team Chaotix has the best of the um, robot bosses. You know, the ones we have to defeat the mechs? I could like that shit. Team Chaos is the best one of those because their Team Blast gives you rings, which recharges their Team Blast, and it becomes really fucking epic. I think they give you a key before the lava section, right? So I should still be straight if I don't fuck it up. 
Not that I'm gonna need the keys, because I could just go to my main save anyway, but like, it'd be nice to get them in one go. Can't believe Bradley got a PS5, we lost the way of clowning. Well, I mean, PS5 Pro next year, so, I mean, he'll still be behind anyway. Especially once GTA GTA 6 drops. And that shit running at 30 FPS on base PS5, and you gotta get a PS5 Pro just to get 60. Left Give me a show, please. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, hey, 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 hey! Don't play with me today. Don't give me those child flashbacks. <sighs> I guess when the PS5 Pro comes out, I'm gonna get that so I can continue. <laughs> I mean, in a way, Bradley, you should have just waited one more year, just gotten the Pro. Because you would have gotten the Pro, like, what, end of 2024? That's enough time to beat Spider Man 2, you know, and then pre order GTA 6. It was a gift. Well, you had to ask for it to get it, right? People don't just buy people PS5s without asking. Or maybe they do. I don't know. I don't like being given big gifts that I didn't ask for. Because it's like, well, how do you know I wanted that shit? You know? Maybe when I was a kid, you know? But, you know, but like now? You saw those viral videos, like, where, like, some kid threw a tantrum because they got him a PS5 and he wanted an Xbox? I don't know why the fuck he wanted an Xbox, but, you know, do a tantrum. I saw one where it's like he got a PS5, but he wanted a gaming PC, and he was mad. I'm like, did you ask for a gaming PC? Did they not know what that was? Like, you know. I remember, man. Man. Yes. I asked my dad for a PSP back when it was obviously popping off. I told him to get it from Argos. It's a reputable store in the UK, those of you who don't know. He gets the shit from eBay. It's a Japanese PSP. The X and the circle are switched in Japan. So X means like back and circle means go. And on top of that, it stopped updating. So I couldn't play Rivals 2 on my PSP because you, need, you had to have a firmware update to play that game. And the Japanese PSP wouldn't what? update. So I couldn't play Rivals 2 on my own PSP. So I had to borrow my friend's PSP just to play Rivals 2. Why are you ain't copy from Argos? I said get it from Argos. I'm gonna have to restart this if I don't get the, the, the A ring. Okay, never, never mind. It's, just, it's hit or miss, right? <laughs> you either get it in five seconds or you get it in 50. Like, you know, it is what it is, right? It is what it is, right? Marriage? No way! No way! <laughs> oh, God. Casino Park. Oh yeah, this stage? Boy, Amy sure give Those of you who got a Steam Deck OLED, this, this level on the OLED, beautiful. Beautiful. This level was built for, for OLED. This level was built for, this is, oh my god. This level was built for the OLED, man, seriously, man. seriously. I'll take care of them. It's another light dash I love. Just so smooth. Jaden, stop hating on the goat. This level's great. I mean, okay, look, the pinball physics aren't perfect, okay? I get that. Yes. Even when I was a kid, I could get stuck on the pinball table. Nowadays, I don't get stuck because 
obviously I played it a lot. Like you see, I was just there and I just got out. Like it's, it's, I guess anything hard can become easy once you play it enough. Leave them to me, Sonic. At the risk of wasting time, I want to show you guys something because a lot of people don't know this. People think Knuckles moves too much when he does shift rock. As you can see, this is how much he travels when he shift rock, right? He travels a lot. If you just don't move the analog, he moves like this. So you see how much less he's moving? Like. So when people worry about slipping off the edge, it's because they're doing that. They're, whole, they're pushing the analog in the direction, and it's like, like that. When you can just do like that. So. That's a strategy, you know, that I abide by. Hope I didn't waste too much time. I'm not trying to get no B-rings. Take a shortcut here. Am I gonna stream the GOAT Junior in 20 years? The GOAT Junior. Man. I mean, will Dream Team even be playable in 20 years? Phone game? Like, runners, you can't even play that anymore, officially. Oh yeah, another pinball section that people struggle on, you can just skip this shit. That's a very simple skip. Ugh. 46 year old prime making song videos. Yeah, I don't know about that. I'll be done by then. My AI will be running the channel for me by then. I'll tweak the AI to be more positive than me, so people won't hate me. And then he'll post all the new content. My digital twin. I got like no level ups. What is going on? Okay. Give me some shit. Okay. What do you got key? I'm trying to remember how to get the VIP table. Oh, I remember now. You gotta get the switch. I'm not doing all that now, but you know, I'm sure some of you've never seen a VIP table. But I'm not doing that now. VIP table is this way. There's a switch that unlocks the laser there that takes you to the VIP. So those of you who don't know, that's what it is. I'm in desperate need of level ups, man. Seriously. Bradley, I know you ain't slandering me. Like three years ago, I told you to beat my super hard mode time. You still ain't done it. Swift is a beast, though. All right, he's a beast. You never found a switch. It's like in the middle of the. You have to go to the higher part of the table, and then there's a switch in the middle of the table. So you see, there's like the lower table, and then they got one above it. You find one of the pipes that takes you to the higher one, and then you have to like hit the switch. It's not an easy thing to do. Perfect. The game isn't running slow, Bradley. You've been playing so much Doom Eternal that you've forgotten how 60 hertz is. Ugh. There's a bunch of bumpers around that make it hard to hit. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely not easy to get. Um, there's no real reason to get it other than just to see it. You gotta see it at least once, right? 
It's kind of crazy the first time you get it, especially if you didn't know it was there. But yeah, on the topic of decompilations, man, seriously, Sonic Rush needs a decompilation. A version that's built to run at 16x9, 16x10, you know, that I can play on my OLED, and it runs on one screen. Like, imagine playing Sonic Rush on a Steenek OLED with, like, native support and not, like, the DS kind of, you know, thing, the DS limitation, right? There's so many decompilations I want to see for Sonic games. I literally trust the fans more with that than I trust Sega, like, honestly. And Sega couldn't even get the fucking Sonic Adventure statue to light up. I've got the Sonic Adventure 25th Anniversary statue, and it's not lighting up. I bought a battery for it, I put the battery in, I put it to charge. It's not lighting up. Like, what's going on, man? Like, the thing won't light up, I plugged it in. I'm, do I have to return it? Like... I don't even get a statue right? Like... Yes! <sighs> the game is louder than me? I asked everyone on the volume levels and they said they were good. I, mean, I can lower it some more. Chat, should I lower the volume levels even more? Game is not loud. It's fine. All right, cool. Bingo Highway. I don't know why they give you a team boss so early. I don't even need it here. These are okay, the snitch robot stuff. We're detected. Other robots will be called to help. It's the game's mid audio mixing. Again, so yeah, like you ride for SA2, man. Come on. Could do better than this. It's actually crazy how I like I don't I don't really game anymore on my PC. Like I just be on the I be on the handhelds now. Like dead ass. Like it's crazy. Some fan makes this run at 144 hertz. Oh, that day. Oh, well, I guess I'm not getting any of those. What's up, Beats? Beats, what are we getting the Heroes decompilation, man? How much I gotta pay you, man? How much I gotta pay you for the Heroes decompilation? We're desperate out here, man. We want that 144. You're desperate. You want that native controller support, man. I'll take care of them. None of that button one, button two. Oh, I've got a team boss. I might as well use that. Watch out! 
both dead. Get out of there. There we go. There we go. Level ups, man. I kinda need him here as well. I, mean, I guess I could just team boss. Oh, I team boss it with knuckles. Of course. Okay. The Heroes remake could be beat. I don't trust Sega with that shit, man. Like, let me just get my decompilation, quality of life updates, you know. I already hit the switch, right? Okay, cool. Come on. Alright. Only 10 Sonic. I said only 10 Sonic. Ugh. Keep watch your heroes. But we're not doing that. I'm not doing that. I guess you got that backwards, Doc! <laughs> the reason I left Tails and Uncles behind is so that if I die, I can switch to them. And not actually lose my life. That's why I make sure to lead on my own. Rip that. No, Aerial Bingo! Thank you! There we go, Aerial Bingo. Ah, beautiful. No bingo? Thank you. God, you can give me no bingos? Like, come on. <sighs> Low point of the game? No. The lowest point of a, of a Team Sonic playthrough Perfect. is probably the rival battles, especially the second one. That's my low point. I don't think the levels are, are low points at all. Maybe Egg Albatross, because that Egg Albatross could be a bit annoying. I don't know. Talking stage themselves, the pinball mechanics are too wonky to rely on for the whole stage. Um, I never had a problem with Bingo Highway like that, honestly. Because, like, with Casino Park, you have to use the pinball physics to go up, which is harder. But with Bingo Highway, it's like a slide going downwards, so I always found it to be way easier. 
than Casino Park. Cause you just like just keep going down basically. There were a few trap spots. I never really had a real issue doing that. After all, you only have one day, and we know who's going to win. I know you're trying to be clever with this whole casino park pun thing, but it's just coming off lame. Just say you're going to destroy us and stop embarrassing yourself. I always find it interesting that they didn't put or that they put invisible walls here. Come on, Tails, level up. Thank you. I think that's a team boss, but I'm not sure. Song Lee too many wolves. Mid heroes will be don't have to agree with everything that Fave says. Well, I mean, I mean, should be able to like the YouTube without agreeing with every single opinion of those, right? Not bad. That wasn't what I wanted to do. I think I just fucked my whole plan now. It's still A rank yet, but I might have just fucked it. We'll see. Leave it to me. That's it. Yeah, I might have just fucked it. Bradley said I'm spamming team boss because I used one team boss. Bradley, stop micromanaging my A ranks. Everyone knows I play this game better than you anyway, so I don't know what you're trying to do. Yeah, this is where I wanted to say the team boss for. Actually, this is where I want to say the team boss for. I might have fucked my A rank though. Too cool. I, might, I think it's two minutes for the A rank. Cause I hit the I hit the team boss bubble by mistake All right. instead of saving it, so I might have fucked my earring. Ugh. What a waste. Oh, okay. Actually, it might be two and a half minutes. Okay, never mind. Ugh. I thought it was two minutes. Hmm. But smart utilization of the team boss is how you do that. Someone said the werehog is pretty ass even when you get good, but then also said so much better to just brute force the werehog. Well, that's why you think it's us, because you brute force it instead of learning the mechanics. Ugh. Maybe try learning the mechanics. Full speed ahead. Ugh. I could take an unnecessary shortcut here, but I wouldn't do it today. Oh yeah, people said you can't rail switch in this game. You can. What a view! You those Keep your eyes on the rail, Sonic. Hey, there they are. They they're pulling out all the tricks. Yes. Level up. Level up. 
Ugh. And on the train. Right. <laughs> almost, you almost wiped me out. I was a bit late on that. You almost caught me there. You're getting old. My reflexes ain't as good as they used to be. Pussy right now, so I'm not gonna do this part. So. <laughs> Feeling a little bit pussy. I'm gonna switch the tails. <laughs> Usually I do this in Sonic, but like I'm just like, man, I ain't trying to die right now. <laughs> like, oh gosh. You can skip all of this stuff. Pulling out all the tricks. Ah. Run. Did I like Ian Flynn's right on the frontiers? I felt like Frontier Story was very boring. Which doesn't mean it was cringe like Colors or Forces or Lost World, but like a lot of standing around and talking. It's not to say the characters are written badly, it just was a very boring story. You know, the characters didn't feel out of character, they just felt like a lot of here we stand and talk, here we stand and talk, here we stand and talk. Like, Forces was not a great story, but that was tight. it was more action-packed, I guess. You had the infinite scenes and all that other shit, but, like, Frontiers was just a lot of standing and talking. Eggman was barely there. You know, everyone was just standing and talking. I get that Frontiers is a more somber game, so I, I understand that, but it's just like, would I want to sit down and watch the Frontiers cutscenes from start to finish? Like, would I want to see a Frontiers fan dub the way you'd want to see, like, an 06 fan dub? Was the material there? That's the question. Why am I jumping? Not boosted anymore. Oh, hmm, first half of the game, no deaths. That's not bad. I thought I would have died by now. Oh, 
So, I mean, I'll probably die somewhere. Like, it's not even a big deal. Plus, I probably have to retry that Team Dark Power Battle if I want the A rank anyway. Which will count as a life loss, so... Ouch. Those springs are gotta be slower. Like, I feel like they're not fast enough. The heavy lack of movement slash animation doesn't help the cutscenes and frontiers either. Forza story was mid, but at least they had more stuff going on. Yeah, that's kind of what I mean. Like, it was very just like, we're there when we talk. We're there when we talk, right? And talking is important, but like, like if you watch like Sonic Movie 2, like, there's somber moments where, you, where you're there when you talk, and then there's more like action heavy moments. But it feels like Frontiers is too much of the somber shit. I don't know. I mean, do you even face off against Eggman in that game? Like, I'm trying to remember. It's just the Titan, right? There's no Sonic versus Eggman, like, major discourse. Major discourse? Okay. Should I get that key? Yeah. I should get the key, but... Mm. I'm falling! I'll get another key, I, I hope. I don't even know where the other keys are. Tails, I need you. I need you to get a second level up. You're slowing down the movement. I'm gonna go this way, actually, but I could go that way. Let's try firing that thing. Hey, come on now. Don't do it, Sonic. Take the long way when I can take the short way. I don't know. I like this way. Here we go. Hey, let's try firing that thing. Hey, come on now. Don't do it, Sonic. Ugh. I'm not supposed to be worse than the original industrialization and post something into the candy and this shit. Well, I mean, that's his AI door. It's not like he actually, yes. you know, fucked. Yes. Yes! 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 Wow, that's what I call a flight! Woo! 
Components of Sonic are should be a piece and you know, across different parts instead of the one thing being here across the board. Hey, that's funny because that's kind of how I felt about, um, about SA2. I could have sworn I unlocked that switch that opens there. I feel like SA2 like separate all the exploration to the treasure hunting. Most of the best platforming into like the mech levels and everything. Most of the fun speed sections into the speed levels. Instead of like blending them together. Let's go. That's it. Let's keep moving. Okay. I'm right behind you. This is where they teach you how to break on the bobsled and everyone forgets. Every time the bobsled takes on damage, one character is thrown off the bobsled. The speed decreases if I'm thrown off, and if Tails falls off... The actually, no, they teach you they teach you how to break in, like, an oh, earlier level. Actually, now I'm thinking about it. They teach you when you don't need it, and then when, the when you get to a level where you need it, it's like, well, you should have known by now. So it's like you never needed it before. I'll take care of them. Level up. Shit still scares me. <laughs> ah, the newest Sonic game would have locked your control there, so you just you just breeze through that, but here it's like, no, nah, you can move. You can move. Let's go. Well do that at least once. Ugh. But I think Frontiers is better than Lost World. Ever so slightly. Walkie Road then ate $4.99 and said, Go to show support, but also play God Hand. You're like the second person to recommend that game to me. But I guess you're gonna have to subscribe to the non slime channel to take a look at that, or for me to take a look at that. But thank you for the support. Don't fuck up my light dash! Ugh. You still need to add me on PS. Bradley, bro, got a PS5 like two hours ago. Talking about I haven't added you on PSN. <laughs> Ugh. I haven't booted up my PS5 in a while. Spider Man been beat. I've ever played Metal Gear Rising or Devil May Cry. I've played Devil May Cry before. Not that much, but I've played it. Perfect. Get Street Fighter 6 to get Yeah, I mean, Bradley's still ducking Street Fighter, though. <laughs> He's gonna spew some shit about Tekken 8 coming out, as if it's got a chance of being better. Ugh. This might be my first L. Open fire! I think it's two minutes or two and a half for the A rank, and I'm most likely gonna restart if I don't get the A rank, so... Is it two or two and a half? I keep forgetting. to the other side. He's going to the other side. Alright. This is one of the weaker bosses. Because, I mean, they just took the egg walk and slapped more shit under it. I mean, you know. Retreat! Look, 
you don't get him by the time he gets there, then it's gonna waste so much time. Alright, cool. Prem hates Tekken because he's dog shit at it. Nope! It's just mid. Ugh. Eggman, you know you can't win! You fools have been tricked. It's a fake? From these catkins, watch as I conquer the world with my air fleet. And this time, you can't stop me. Remember old games? Like, you press one button on the controller during a cutscene and that shit skipped for life. Never, never to be seen again. That shit was so annoying, man. Like, you're playing the game, but you gotta, you gotta make sure you don't slip the trigger. Successfully copied. In fear that the cutscene is just gone forever. Thank you, I got the rainbow ring. So I wasn't gonna get that. Ugh. It's actually a shortcut you can take there, but you know what? Uh, chat, my memory is bad. Did I get the emerald off the bullet station? I feel like I missed the key. Uh, I feel like I missed it. Did I? I missed the emerald, bro. I didn't get an emerald. Or did I? I, I don't remember. You skipped the key. Yeah, I did skip the key. Alright. I mean, I'm not doing a full four teams today anyway, so I could just go on team Rose and get it for the sake of. I always love how they fake you out on that section. Bradley, you're not the only person in the chat. Stop throwing a hissy fit because I didn't read your message out loud. 53 lives. Man. I nice the game over on this when I was a kid. It's kind of crazy. gets decompiled. Oh. Yes. It's gonna be a field day. Someone said Swap 3 is a good Sonic like game. It's a it's a great game, period. Period. 
Leave them to me, Sonic. There you go. Isn't there a shield in there or something? Oh, we missed another one. Oh yeah, I forgot about that glitch. When you get in this video, it tells the auras don't show up. Season 3 dropping in like less than a few weeks. Yes! <sighs> January 11th. Yeah, literally less than two weeks now. Prem finna fumble at the alligators. Man, Bradley, for someone who supposedly likes this game, you'd be rooting on the downfall of. It's biggest disciple. Perfect. Season two was all right. It was nothing but action. Yeah, I mean, it's too much action, not enough plot, and the action is very basic. So it's not any. It's not. It's not like some crazy shit that it's like, oh my god, like you know, there's no plot, but the action makes up for it. It's not that. Sonic X clear so hard. I mean, X is the GOAT, but like, you know. Well, oh, this is the one where they give you like 30 seconds. You probably missed this one. This one kind of tough. Oh, I forgot about this thing. Now that I didn't use that thing again yeah, in no time. If you don't grab onto that, it's just rip. I do feel like if they remade the game, they'll make you grab onto that thing. Because once you miss it, you're just running around doing nothing. And then they hit you with this. So if you had no time left, you were fucked. I feel like they only put those child sections in there because it was like, there's like no child in the game, there's no child gun, so I just threw that in there to be like, well, we got child in the game. Someone with a username that I can't say said, there ain't nothing really special about Prime, Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog, great of it. Well, Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog is the second best Sonic show after X. That shit just iconic. Cheese? Well, okay, yeah, cheese is in the game. I guess cheese is in the game. You sure it's safe around here? Got it. Leave it to me. Here we go. Leave it to me. There they are. Eggman robot. Leave them to me, Sonic. Ouch. That took way too long to kill that. Yes. Way too long. Let's go. 
Anyway. This song is a masterpiece though. This shit takes you on a journey, man. It's that black frog again. Smoky Sonic, you gotta be just like. I like Prime Sonic in terms of his character. Is he a bit yeah. immature and repeating with friends a million times, even though it's clear that they don't give a fuck and they don't know where you're from? Sure, but I like Prime Sonic. I mean, the show is a bit like too much action, not enough plot, but I like Sonic's portrayal there. I'm not saying that should be the main Sonic in terms of portrayal. Same way I wouldn't want movie Sonic to be the main Sonic, but I like the portrayal. Yeah, it's that nigga frog. Always here to destroy shit. Okay, thanks. Let me go and get the key. No, let me get the key. Let me get the key. There's probably another one in a more convenient location. I don't have to do that, but. Let's just 
use Tails here. I can actually skip this. I just remembered. I can just jump off, but you know what? I'm not in risk taking mood right now. Rival battle now, so I'm probably gonna restart that for an S. It's not S rank, we're on A rank. Ugh. Remember Bradley dying at this part when he streamed this? Yeah, I mean, that's because he's a fake fan and he prefers Doom Eternal over Sonic the Hedgehog. Bradley said Doom is a better franchise than Sonic, so send pitchforks to the streams. Nine, though he's entertaining. I always wanted to see Tails actually do something about his bitch made behavior. Now he's actually doing something. Is he right? No, but you know, he's doing something. Like Lost World Tails had all of the snark and none of the execution. At least Nine is doing some fucking shit. Talk, Talk about, about being, being stubborn, stubborn and full of surprises. surprises. Long time no see, boys. Too bad you had to come all this way for nothing. We'll take it from here. What'd you say? Sensors locked on Eggman. Non-compliant intruders will be destroyed. They peeked through this Omega voice. Oh, they peeked. Is that so? Well, then. It'll, It'll be a date to die for. Hey, that's my line. What was the first long time no see? Was it SA1? What was with that hedgehog that looked like my twin? Alright. I got... I got 60 lives. If I don't get the A rank, I'll just retry. Up in this machine. MC Eggman's watching. Alright, that's not any rank. What was with that hedgehog that looked like my twin? Start again. I never really know the right strategy to use. You're supposed to use a certain formation against the other formation. It just don't seem to work. Yeah. 
Even Team Boss don't feel like they do shit. And how do they know? Didn't they kill themselves during Johnny's stream? There is a a, a, str a strat you can do where they just they just die themselves. It's like a speedrunning strat. What was with that hedgehog that but like you can do it by accident. It's happened to me before. It's like you have to do something in particular and then like restart and then they just kill themselves basically. I forgot what you do. Once are nostalgic to you from the old Adobe Flash games. Now, my favorite grunt is the one in like SA2 where Shadow does the, the spin dash and it's like, Ugh! that shit's that shit's lit. I'm gonna get Team Boss to come back to life in a second, isn't he? Yeah, like that's something. That, yeah, you don't really do much. What was with that hedgehog that looked like my twin? Bam, Tails, or level 1 Blue Tornado. How do I even get a level up here? Is there a level up here? Chaos control. I guess you won't know. <laughs> Stay tuned for the commercials to find out. Nope, oh, that was for Knuckles. What about this one? That's tails. Okay. Ugh. Hedgehog, it looked like my twin. Oh, there's one here though. Level one blue tornado. Is it really make a difference if you're level one here? One less supporter. Now I shall destroy you all. Take this. Take this. Take this. I don't know, man. I've never had a consistent strategy for these for these for these battles. I'm just always kind of like winging it. Shadow's not gonna die. He's just not falling off. Chaos control. Like you got a team boss, I'm frozen, and you're just flying around, like you know, like I don't know, man. I don't know, man. That's what I love about super hard mode is that it's just the levels, no bosses. So you can just kind of, you can just kind of chill. Bro. Just give up on the A rank, man. Just 
keep spamming. Chaos control. The free swings are low-key cool though. Well, I'll take my C rank, I think. I think that's a C. What time did I get? Just a C, yeah. If only we had more time. Like, less than a second earlier would have been a B. Oh, oh well. Alright, hand castle. And call some mu music is good. I actually sampled this like years ago, like ten years ago. I, I flipped the upside down music Sonic, you into like a hip hop beat. Normal man. That's the key, huh? Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. This is such a wall crafted level. The way they do the upside down shit, like. And then you go through the same part of the level, but it's like flipped around and it's like rails on the loop de loop and shit. I remember walking on this like as a kid, like it was like, oh my god, I'm walking on invisible platforms. Leave it to me. Here we go. Also, I thought it was right dash. Leave it to me. Try going down there. Ugh. Quick, you saw that shit? Wall stream. What's going on? I mean, it was just Lost Walls. We weren't missing that much. Leave it to me, Dave. Be careful not to fall. Take this. Leave it to me, Dave. Yeah. All right. 
Okay. I was not fun to shoot in those discs. I thought it was a little fun mechanic. Let's go. Let's go. Yes. Here we go. There's that switch again. This world is an amazing game. I mean, I wouldn't use the word amazing so liberally. So it closes off here. Alright. Thunder shoot, thunder shoot, thunder shoot. There we go. Got it. Leave it to me. Let's go. Let's go. Here we go. There they are. Eggman's robot. Leave them to me, Sonic. Level ups there. No. That's it. Let's go. Oh, there's one here. Okay. Let's I'll take that. Level up. I think Knuckles needs some though. You're getting, you're getting a bit. Level up. Oh wait, I wanted to grab those balls. I saw that level up instead. I feel like the day I play this game at like a higher refresh rate, it's gonna be like rediscovering a gem. Already. Rip. Leave it to me. Let's go. Like the first time I played Assassin's Creed Brotherhood at 60 FPS, off the plane at like 20 something FPS back in 2010. Let's go. Got it. Take this. Take this. Leave it to me. Let's go. Oh, I've got a key, okay, cool. Yeah. <sighs> uh, we're Someone said slap Mario into Lost World would be fine. It wouldn't be fine. The game still wouldn't be amazing. Uh, Mario's got better games than Lost World. Let's not let's not do that. I hope one of the Sonic movies does the hero's plot, like Metal Sonic. Because, I mean, they're doing SA2 now, so it makes sense to do the Metal Sonic plot. I mean, Metal Sonic is just... He's arguably Sonic's biggest rival. After, like, Shadow, like... I mean, Sonic Rivals pretty much outlines Sonic's biggest rivals. There's Knuckles, Shadow, Silver, and Metal Sonic. So they all deserve movies, realistically. If Movie 2 is the Shadow one, then, then we do Metal Sonic next. Silver after that. It's only fair. Oh, flop that. Um, we need the Neo Metal Sonic movie, like we do. Otani work on this game? I don't think Otani started until like 06. If I recall correctly.
time restrictions on these get really, like, strict. Oh, I just missed the thing again. Oh my god. And then they're gonna hit me with this as well. Oh, I'm running out of time. I'm so running out of time. Can I still savage it? I rarely ever play these because you know, once you've got a full save fight, I don't need the lives. So I be forgetting a lot of these actually have not Ouch. I might have just sealed my fate. Come on, come on. Cool. Was it June who proposed it? June Sonoe did Heroes, yes. I mean, June Sonoe ran the whole shit before Otani came in with 06. Someone said Heroes is worse than Eminem's Survival album. Now, even you don't believe that shit. Even you don't believe it. Everyone knows Survival was trash, except for the most hardcore of Stan who's, you know... Can't accept that. <laughs> Ugh. a lot. It's been a while. But I used to play this level all the time, man. It's such a fun level to optimize. There's so many ways you could do things faster. There they are. Eggman, Leave them to me, Sonic. Come on. Grab the team. What's up, Blake? Try going down there. You can skip this one. You can just jump and skip the pole, right? I'm trying to remember all my strats. They teach you about the break here. People don't pay attention. they're gonna show baby shadow <laughs> I mean it basically be like classic shadow all the way right Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Right, here's the team boss here because you're going to need it in like two seconds. Best stage of the game. I mean, it's up there. It's up there. Definitely for me. I still think my favorite is Ocean Palace, but like, I put like every Sonic level, not including bosses, I put like every Sonic level in like S tier. If I was being like strict, I could drop Casino Pop to A because of pinball physics, but like, I dead ass for every level on S tier. Like, that's, that's just me. Bosses, that's different, but like, levels? There's another trolley. Let's catch it. I love that they just made this whole little cool area and change of environment just for this one bobster section. Like, that's crazy to me. Like, they did all that for that. Oh, God, I missed that. You gonna see a hero stage rank? I mean, it would just be a bunch of S's, honestly, like, Jump. fuck that. Jump. Ow. It would just be mostly S's. No, like, like, dead ass, like, I'm not even just saying that, it would just be mostly S's, it would be boring. Let's take care of these guys first. The only thing that would go below A is not even a main mission, it's like an extra mission. Really steep here. Be careful. Leave it to me. That should be the right way. There we go. Let's go. Hey. Ouch. Let's go. Hey. Let's go. Hey. Got it. Take it. Leave it to me. Let's go down there. Ah. It's super hard, but they really fuck you with that. Oh well. Rip the emerald. Rip the emerald. Rip the emerald. <laughs> Three times, man. Here we go. Not my best. Oh, I don't think they give you a key after that, so rip that. Oh, LS Mark told me to strat. Of how not to just, you know, die there. Okay. Let's leave this to Tails. Let's go. Oh, you can do this section without flying. For the record. I mean, I wouldn't risk it. But you can. If you're wondering. Biggest, bigger hero stand, me or Mark. I mean, it's both our favorite. He did beat me in the race, so that doesn't mean he's a bigger stand just because he won the race, it just means he's quicker. Oh, let me shut this one. The last stage designed for the game because I pulled they throw everything in this game at you. Unique twist, yeah. I mean, like the, the trials at the end, like they really pulled out all the tricks. No problem. Piece of cake. But I mean, Final Fortress as well, like with the rails and the lasers, like they weren't playing around. Once they hit you with that red laser fight, like, you know, you know it's about to go crazy. Because I mean, the, the levels don't scale linearly in terms of difficulty because they give you that little break with like Frog Forest. And then Lost Jungle is mostly chill aside from the end. Didn't Twip win? Yeah, Twip was first, but Mark was like right behind him. Mark was second, and then I was third, and then Cisco was fourth. Ugh. Only four lasers? What, what did you say? No, I'm really mad. 
Doing this, doing this boss on Team Chaotix is the best boss in the game. I mean, aside from like Metal Sonic. This boss on Chaotix is, is fire. Like, it's so good. Like, it's so broken, it's just so fun. Okay, we need Tails to get that second level up, please. Thank you. Oh, come on, Team Tails, please. Team Darkest Cancers on this. I mean, I think they added extra enemies, right? Wait, Team Dark is the one where they added the um, where they added the the cannon shit with the rails, right? Like you have to do that extra shit. Team Kelix is your favorite team growing up? You don't hear that often. <laughs> My team must here would have been good. Should have saved it. I definitely should have saved Oh my god. Is anyone still alive? Cool. Alright, we'll just see who lost that. Bigger enemy coming. Here we go. Yeah. I probably shouldn't have used that team boss. I think I missed the A rank for I don't remember the A rank. I think it's three minutes. Oh, there's more, okay. That's it. Oh, this is where I was supposed to use the team. Oh I fucked it, yeah. I fucked it. That was uh, I forgot. I forgot. Alright. And I didn't grab my rings, so. The magician is healing this dude. Oh, the magician is. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Mm, mm. Alright. I knew I shouldn't have used my team boss there. Unless you can use it quick enough and then transfer to the last section, then use that Sonic move. <laughs> Too cool. Level up. Come on, tails. You need tails, please. That's it. Level up. Level up. Ugh. 
Team boss glitch? That's a lot harder to do on PC actually. Not impossible, but. Got it. Heroes <laughs> being 20, which team thing is your favorite inside of Team Dog Team Rose? I mean Oh yeah, Team Dog Team Rose. I did a I did a tier list video where I ranked all the vocal themes in the series. It's still up on the channel. You can see why I rank everything in here, but I've kind of fell on it. That's it! Got it, shit! Alright! Shit! Already? Smash them all! Here we go! Sonic level up would be good right yes. about now. Leave it to me! Why am I team lost in here? I don't know. What control am I using? I've got a dual sense. I swear, Tails is gonna shoot gets worse with that thing. Smash them all! Controller, PS1 colors. Yeah, it's a custom made one, so I'm glad it doesn't. <laughs> Don't get too excited, boys! Those, Those were the easy ones! Alright! Phew! I need a break from those robots! Ugh. All right, time for the intro. I think Tails' voice in this game is overhated. I mean, it's not his worst voice. It's not his best either. You fools must all have a death wish. Witness this invincible revolution built by the hands of a genius. Its power unmatched throughout the universe. This camera pan. Oh, God, that camera pan. All right, Eggman. Oh, my God. That camera pan is epic, man. Way high. Man, I'm fine. Oh, this is nothing. Let's keep moving. The energy in Sonic's voice when he says that shit. It's just nothing. Fuck! We hit to slay! Ouch. Soundtrack, though. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Oh yeah, I gotta get keys. Said I gotta get keys. It's on it. Where are you going? Get the key. Really steep here. Be careful. Rip the higher route. Need more momentum for that. It's so epic, man. Yes. Yes. Go down. Into that smooth, I'm gonna smooth the bruise right there. You could always just do this if you didn't want to fly, and then because of that tornado, you could get out there. I could have just team bossed it, but you know what? It's on cost fallacy now, so. Everyone. See, if this is forces, they just script the whole flower section. I mean, it's still a scripted section, but the fact that they at least let you go up and down, at least you use something in a section like this. Yes. Doesn't just become a cinematic. You gotta do something. 
It's hard to do spectacle shit without locking control. Even if you play like Spider-Man, PS4, Spider-Man 2 on the PS5, like a lot of the cool spectacle moments, you're not doing as much. It's like the dilemma of spectacle moments in general. Level up. <laughs> trying so hard to hate, but he knows it's the GOAT. He's, like, he's reaching for the hate, but he's like, Ugh. it's not spectacle. It's not cool. Yes. Flying through the sky with nothing but a little mini metal helicopter while dodging weapons and shit like that. Totally not cool, right? I mean, Running from a gun track though? Oh, greatest thing ever. Is that even an A? That was tight. Ugh. Lost level. Oh wait, Emerald challenge. Oh no, bonus challenge. I haven't. I don't, I don't even remember this one. The, the Act One ones, I've forgotten all of them because like I just don't replay them. I replay the Emerald ones, but the Act ones I tend to just not because I I got ninety nine likes on my main file. How did I not get hit? What was that? What? Why are you swerving on the mines? Okay, I finally hit one. I feel like I just... Just slipped through a few of them. Oh, I did it again. I did it again. Did it again. Yeah, I think I'm I think I'm dead now. I barely remember, I'm like dead off, so I don't, I don't remember this. Oh my god, all of that. I'll probably get like one life for that as well. We kept falling asleep at like 8 p.m. <laughs> I'm, I'm a night owl, so I always find a way to be asleep during the day. Very rarely am I asleep at the actual night. Ah, oh, final level. I love that light dash. You have to just time it perfectly. Mm 
There's a key layer on it. We're almost about to be done. I mean, I might play a few levels with the other teams before I go to Metal Sonic. Before we finish it off. Remember as a kid, I always used to miss that jump, miss the ball, and take the ball. I'm surprised Thunder Shoot can break those, but uh, I ain't complaining. Move that to Knuckles. Alright. It's blown to pieces. I don't want to self destruct it. Well, fake news, I'm not gonna play every single campaign in one store. Man, I'm too old for that, man. I'm not doing that in one sitting. I ain't doing that in one sitting. You can take the quicker route, but actually, you want the points from destroying this enemy. You want that easy A rank. And you don't want to just take the upper route. Come on. Thank you. That's one thing I do like about Lost World is having a separate time attack ranking. So you can just have that ranking where it's just about like just go fast. If they ever did remaster heroes like a time attack mode where the where the rankings are solely based off time would be sick. So weird seeing him actually knowing strikes and it. Man, look, you gonna give me some credit, okay? Obviously, on a channel like Primulus, where most of what I'm doing is playing games that I haven't played before, of course, I'm not gonna be a pro, right? It's only natural. But I got my favorites. I just don't want to be streaming my favorites all the time because then it's like. I don't want to bore the viewers. Like, I've streamed Heroes a million times, 06 a million times, Adventure 1, you know. Okay. In terms of non-Sonic stuff, like, I can't just be streaming Prince of Persia all the time, or Assassin's Creed all the time. Like, people just get bored. They want to see some new shit that I haven't played before, some more relevant shit. There we go. There we go. Here's another section you can skip. You can just fly. You can just fly at the spring here. 
and then just skip all of these bottom areas. But obviously, I'm not going to do that because there's so many points here. Again, A rank, so. How they yell here, ask the detention. Hey, I feel you. There they are. Eggman robot. Leave them to me, Sonic. I probably shouldn't have wasted my team boss because I'm gonna need it. Oh, okay, never mind. Never mind. Okay. I don't even know if there's another key. Did they put one there at the end? I think that's it for the keys. There's more. <sighs> don't believe the hype trying to get the stream pop better and Arkham City for two years. Well, the Batman games are all copyright in terms of their OSTs, so that's probably going to be on my own time I play that. And oh, there is no key. Okay, rip. Maybe Team Rose, we get it. I don't know. I was being a bit too reckless on that. A bit too reckless on that. Switching to Tails, man. I'm not in the mood for risk. Turning off the music on the first playthrough. On repeats, you could do that shit. Like, I'd be playing Burnout Paradise with like YouTube videos in the background. But like, first time, you gotta feel the atmosphere that was intended by the developers. Okay? That's just a given. Sonic! Knuckles! We did it! Ugh. So I think I missed two emeralds. Oh, <laughs> well, 20 emblems, so I unlocked uh, multiplayer, right? 2P Bell. Dean Bristol peak on this boss. Time to meet your maker. I'll show you what real evil is. Yo, he peaked on this shit. I mean, okay. I mean, he still peaked on like Egg Viper though. Like Egg Viper was that was that was peak then. But he also peaked here. Seconds. Alright, cool. Hit one. Hit two. Come on, get to it! Ah. 
We really should destroy our water cannons, but it just takes too much time. It's not over yet. Troublesome fools. Go down that easy. <laughs> Doing this shit on Team Dark is easy. Because of the Team Dark stopping time, it's like chill. Come on, finish it! Thank you, God. Play Sonic Games checking out this guy named Remy Doremi's old news videos to see how he felt about things at the time. I mean, it's definitely a time capsule for sure. You're finished, Eggman. Defeated Kim Possible. <laughs> oh, Kim Possible. Oh my God. Don't hit me with that right now, man. Talk about cutting it close. It feels like these cutscenes get lower no, rest every tell year. Me you weren't scared. If it wasn't for us, you wouldn't have a chance. Well, maybe you're right. Thanks, Knuckles. You two tails. You two tails. Uh. <laughs> mm -mm. We still got Mount Overlord to do, don't worry. We got Mount Overlord. I'll play a few other team levels just for a little bit of break, and then we'll go straight to Mount Overlord. Then we'll be done. It's fun seeing Prim Fanboy with something. Man, Beats, you should have been here at the beginning, man. <laughs> I was on one at the beginning. Oh, God. You should get the Xbox quality mod. I think I did install that, I don't even remember. Because I saw that mod. I need to go and pee, but we'll be back with more of the Sonic soon. Stay tuned.
Ugh. Hope you were enjoying the pinnacle of many music while I was away. Are great ones you don't have, so we missed the Mystic one, Final Fortress, and Bullet. And bullet, Mystic, and Final. Yeah. Alright. Back to the main file. I'm still gonna forget that this file is here, and then one day just like, oh yeah, I got a file number 20 somewhere. 99 files, but you cat the hours at 99 hours. Why would you cat the hours at 99 hours on a save file? Why would you cap the hours? But then you thought it was appropriate to have 99 save files. The logic behind that, I don't, I don't know. All right, let's play some other teams. And then we'll come back and do Lost Story. Oh, why not? Okay, here we go. Ugh. Here we are. It's quite a dilemma. I gotta pull myself together. Okay. Team Rose Dialog kind of went harsh. In a funny kind of way. Amy has this one move that makes me love Team Rose. The way she stays in the air for long. That shit, I just love that. I guess they probably did it to make it easier to clap formula. It's so weird playing like Team Rose right after playing like Sonic or Dark and just like how much easier they made things. I missed that. Almost died. You wish there was a adventure and also could have made the characters go to. I guess you mean the stages in a different order. Um, I like that O6 did that actually. But with Heroes, I feel like each team was just a different mode of the same game, so it didn't feel as necessary. Cause it's like, you know, easy mode, hard mode, mission mode kind of thing. Oh, 
Mario 6 out of what I did with dog shit gameplay of characters. The character section of 6 was good though. It's just like it kept some of that that hero's life, but it wasn't like obviously it wasn't a hero's game, but just like knowing that you get to part of the level and it's like, oh, we can like try something else here. Ugh. Oh yeah, another thing they would have to add to heroes if they did re-release it. Sonic 4 Episode 2 had this, like the ability to replay special stages. I don't even think Mania did this. I don't even think Mania allowed you to just pick a special stage and play it. Which is annoying for a game that's got arguably the best special stages for it to not have that. You know. Is that really my best time? My best score? Hmm. Alright, let's see if I can actually remember how to do this. I'm pretty sure you can't restart these, so. Mania does with the debug menu. Yeah, I mean, a debug though? Like, that should just be a menu. Like, I just want to play them. Like, real talk. But yeah, I mean, I guess technically you can. Began watching Friends the other day and slowly warming up to it. It's being great. I mean, greatest show in the, ever, in my opinion. Especially if we're talking sitcoms. It's hard to compare sitcoms and dramas because they do two different things. But in terms of sitcoms, like that's the pinnacle for me. All right, let's do a chaotic level. Here we go. <clears throat> yeah, let's go. PC exclusive feature. Oh yeah, the special stages in the PC version. Hey, there is sleep, so stay quiet and move slowly. Okay, what are you doing? Be quiet. Oh, Chaos could have had their own TV show. I would have watched every episode, man. Chaotix could have had their own TV show. I would have watched every single fucking episode. Just them going on the money-making scheme shenanigans. I'm talking like some Hanna-Barbera type shit, like... You know, like... Hand-animated type shit, like... I would have watched that shit. Someone should so do that, uh... Like, make it look like it came out the same time Tom and Jerry came out. Like, with the animations and shit. They'd be like Ed, Ed, and Eddie. Like, always trying to make money type shit. That's what they'd be doing. once. How am I playing? I'm playing pretty well. I mean, if I do say so myself, I'm, I'm kind of slain. Wow, I really missed the rainbow ring. Wow. You can travel far distances by moving around using the bubble to glide. There are treasures that can only be obtained by using this trick. The saddest game will never be re-released. I mean, it's going to get decompiled by someone. Someone gonna decompile it. Here we go. 
Okay, that's not gonna break. Okay. Oh, I just remembered I gotta play that one boss of chaos. Ah, oh, I gotta play that one boss of chaos. That's gotta get done. That's gotta get done. I also used to enjoy trying to get into the team Sonic Dark sections of the chaotic solo stages. Oh, I think there is, there's one area, I think it's Team Rose Bullet Station. There's one area where you could just literally just go to the area that they're not supposed to go to. It's like right there. Impossible feat. Ultimate ninja power. All right, let's do a dark level. Oh wait, I said I was gonna get all the emeralds, right? Mm. Which two did I miss? I missed Bullet Station. Which ones did I- I missed Bullet Station and I missed Mystic Mansion, right? Those are the ones I missed. In my main playthrough. Minute 39. Oof. Okay, here we go! A lot of these team rose levels are quick once you get the hang of them. Okay, we're right here. Don't worry, I'll be right by you. Bye, bye. Here we go. Okay, what the fuck was that? <laughs> Let's do that again. If you get to the total section of Ocean Pass, you can by jumping over the palace portal to loop. Yeah, I need to see like a video on that, just explaining all of the ways you could do it. Because I might have found a few, but not that many. I saw a video yesterday of someone explaining how the Mario Kart 64 AI basically cheats. And we all knew that the AI cheated in that game if you played it. But just seeing exactly how it cheats was kind of cool. Alright, so let's go to a business to get a team boss because... That will give Team Rose a shield, which will make it a lot easier to, you know, not lose my key. Oh, there's no switch there, isn't it? Okay, okay. Okay, we got a show now, man. I can't believe I did this in a minute 39. I was on something when I did that. I'm playing slow as fuck right now. Team Rose going to Team Sonic Dark. Man, we need borderless windowed mode on this game, man. Can't even click a link on my other screen without it minimizing. Ah, old PC ports, eh? The fact that this game is even running at 4K is a result of fan-made intervention. Oh, okay. She went all the way there. Okay. I'm also familiar with your game. No, Sonic Heroes is not on Steam. Realistically, it wouldn't even be that, that hard for them to just put the old port on Steam and feel being lazy. 
Make sure you just take the fouls at the no CD correct. You know. I mean, I guess you'd have to fix the, the configuration tool. So it won't show up. If you want people to actually run it at resolutions without hassle. I think it's the left one, right? Good. Doesn't clean sometimes say round and round we go during Yeah, I don't know what the the why that only happens once in a while. I don't know what the rules are for that. But yeah. Sometimes she just says round and round we go. I've tried I've tried to figure out what the criteria is to get that. I don't know. Wait, no, this isn't a PC mod. This is the PC port. But I've just used a tool to increase the resolution. That's it. How different do you think heroes would have been if Sega was still making consoles? There would have been no heroes. They specifically said they made heroes because they didn't want to make Adventure 3. Which is why when people say it's Adventure 3, I just lost. They said they didn't want to make Adventure 3 because they left the console market and it would alienate people that didn't have a Dreamcast, aka everyone who had a PS2, you know, GameCube, whatever, who didn't go the Sega route. We don't want to alienate them by making an Adventure 3 when 1 and 2 is trapped on some other random system. So we'll just make a brand new game and then everyone can just enter. That was kind of the whole thought process. We're gonna put the bombs at the top. crazy because like Sega fucked so much shit up but if they didn't fuck up the Dreamcast I, mean, I love the Dreamcast but if they didn't fuck up their console shit there'd be no heroes you know because they would have just made SA3 and just skipped out on the go man that would have been crazy like that would have been wild all right bullet station and then we'll do dark and then one KO X boss, and then we'll finish off. There will also be no colors. Well, if it's a world where we keep both heroes and colors, or keep neither heroes or colors, then I have to keep colors. Just because we need heroes in this world. Look at all those cannons! Imagine a world of no heroes. I mean, I spent almost 10 years living without such a thing. I don't know how I went that long. Is there a single year since 2005 where I didn't play heroes? I don't think so. It might be the only game I've played every year since I first played it. Maybe Assassin's Creed 2? Play that damn area. Nah, it might be like in terms of the, like, a game that I play every year since the first. The dream car succeeded with a dodge the meta. I don't think we would have dodged the meta era. The meta era was a result of the critiques of things that started in the adventure era, such as like multiple playable characters and not just playing with Sonic, yada yada yada. Wow. 
Somehow getting shot here. Sega kept m making consoles, do you think generations will still be a thing? It's possible. I mean, it's an anniversary game, celebrate the issue of Sonic. I don't see why that couldn't have been a thing. We're like awesome. The main game we would have lost would have been Heroes. Um, because that was made especially because there was a multiplayer and not a Sega exclusive. That's the one that I know we would have lost. Oh, we would have lost the Advanced Trilogy. We wouldn't have gotten that. Um, if Sega was cocky with the consoles, they might have just been like, eh. You know, we don't put our shit on Nintendo. We got high-selling Dreamcast and Dreamcast 2. Yeah, we ain't making no Advanced Trilogy. So, there'll be no Advanced Trilogy, no Sonic Rush, Rush Adventure, none of that. Unless Sega just made another handheld. Let's say, like, let's say the Game Gear was such a hit that they made their own little Game Gear 2. Instead of Sonic Advance, it'd be Sonic Gear or some shit like that. Whatever they call it. Look, I love the Dreamcast, but if the Dreamcast had to fail to give us Heroes and the Advanced Trilogy and Rush, like, then RIP Dreamcast. Simple as that. Time to catch up. Thank you. Right. Unless if Adventure 3 was better than Heroes. Except that's impossible, so. Wouldn't happen. We should do one team. We should do one team dark level, and we'll do that one epic chaotic boss. Hmm. Uh, and then I think we'll be done. Well, we'll do Metal Overlord, obviously. Is this the energy plant? Energy phase. Eggman must have plans to control the energy. Come on! Come on! Just watch this. Take this. Come on. Take this. <laughs> Leveling up. Those machines are sucking the energy off the rope. Man, it's 2023. It's almost 2024. Where's my real life shadow shoes, man? Why? Where's my real life shadow shoes, man? They taking too long with this futuristic shit. That's all I'm saying. Too long. Here they 
Now, how many more years I gotta wait before I can skate around like Shadow the Hedgehog? How many more years? 2030s? Just watch this. Come on. I'm not talking about regular roller skates, chat. Come on. I mean, I used to ride those. They gotta, like, shoot lights and shit out of them, like, on some cool shit. Chaos Control! Two dots seems to get these species. Natural. The species I don't even know is the difference in speed of, but come on. Natural. Come on. Natural. Here we go. Swap that. I'll take it from here. Come on. Smooth. Is this a 100% run? Oh, no. No. It's already midnight. I'm gonna play like one KLX boss, just because I really want to play that boss. And then we'll go to Mount Lobo, and then we're done. When grinding, press the X button to accelerate and use the left thumbstick to balance. Although, Chow makes it a. A hero's run, not 100%, but like all four teams. I was in the stream for a lot of the, a lot of the chat, not chat, a lot of the um, Come on. a lot of the commentary. I was on the call. Good. That was like some months ago. Come on. I remember getting to Team Dark Grand Metropolis after playing Team Sonic's one, thinking like, oh, about to be at the end of the level. And then it's like, a whole new level shows up. I'm like, what's all that? I'm like, I thought we were at the end. Can glitch out on PC. Ugh. 
play your game someday? Which, which, which game is that? Actually, let me get these. Why not? Chaos control. That's the Sonic 3 Air Creo? Yo, what's up? Sonic 3 Air is like the perfect example of how to like do like a game re-release. I mean, it's not official, but like it's just it has all the options there, so you can play exactly the way you want. Like when I think of like how I want a Heroes remaster to be, like not a remake but a remaster. Just watch this. I think of like the way Sonic 3 Air was executed. I'm just like like that. I'm just give me everything. Like play it the old way, play it the new way. Like just pick what I want. Just watch this. You know all the options. You know, some people don't like the shine on the characters in Heroes. I think they're all wrong. But if it was an option, like, cool. Like, turn it off if you want. Turn it on if you want. Like, you just got the freedom. Like. Ugh. Perfect as always. If there was one stage in Heroes you had to live in, which would it be? Ooh, that's an interesting one. You got Seaside Hill, you got Ocean Palace, Grand Metropolis, Power Plant, Casino Park, Bingo Highway, Rail Canyon, Bullet Station, Fog Forest, Lost Jungle. I'm not gonna live in Hank Hall's or Mystic Mansion. I don't know, man. Maybe in Grand Metropolis? I mean, these futuristic cities, like, I imagine some, like, the Jetsons type shit. We'd be flying around in flying cars and shit. Grand Metropolis could be kind of cool. That'd be a cool place to live. Or you could p play it safe and pick something like Ocean Palace. You know, like an ocean sea getaway type thing. Ugh. Alright, we need to do that chaotic level, but... I'm not gonna lie, this shit kind of bothering me. Uh, so... <laughs> I gotta go back to the... To the file we are on before. Because this shit kind of bothered me a little bit. A little bit. Okay. Like, I A-ranked everything on the playthrough. And I didn't A-rank that stupid fucking boss. Wait, is that the right file? I picked file 20, right? I picked file 19. Mm. My bad. File 20. I A-ranked everything but that stupid fucking boss. It's kind of pissing me off. <laughs> it's, it's bothering me, like, it's sitting in the back of my brain, like, uh, Just... Just let me get this fucking A-rank. I can't... What was with that hedgehog that looked like my twin? We'll just get this A-rank. <laughs> what was the strat to get it to, like... Let me see if I can figure out the strat. What was with that hedgehog that looked like my twin? <laughs> Is Red Up Sonic really my uncle? Ha! <laughs> no, but I actually do have a white uncle, though. I do have a white uncle. He's Italian. Make Knuckles the leader when he's in speed formation? Alright, let's try that again. What was with that hedgehog that looked like I could say crack on my uncle's wife. <laughs> my uncle. That's wild, you know. Imagine a white guy saying the N-word with his excuse being like, Oh, I got a black uncle. Not even a parent, an uncle? You going there? Bro, you look like Logic talking about you got a black uncle. Like, he just won't die. Like, can you die, please? <sighs> what was with that hedgehog that looked like my twin? Leave it to me. <laughs> I 
swear on console this shit was easy. Is that logic mix though? Yeah, but you have to ask him to find out. Because you can't see it. Chaos control! Man, what is the strategy for this shit? I've never actually had a strategy for this shit, other than just Whoa, just spam shit. Uh, you you finish it eventually. Let's blast through with Sonic Speed. Spam okay. Thunder Shoot for the can change formations. Does this work on the PC port though? The PC port It don't play the same as the console version. That's what people be forgetting. They're not going anyway. They just. Yeah, I don't. That's that don't work on PC. Like, you can feel, like, as someone who plays Heroes a lot, you can feel, like, when I play on Dolphin, like, the the character AI is just entirely different. In a way, it's actually smoother. Which is why people wonder why I play the PC port. I just like playing a PC version because it's on PC. Not necessarily because it's the superior version, just because it's the convenience of it's a PC port. Hedgehog that looked like my twin. I'm in the air! One less supporter. Now I shall destroy you all. Stay still, I'm like, not moving, like move. Let's go. Chaos control. I don't know, man. Why am I doing it again? Because I want the A rank, man. I want the A rank. I remember like 100% of this game, and when it came to these bosses, I still don't know how I got the A rank. It was just like, keep trying, and then you, an A rank will fall into your lap. It was just one of these things. But yeah, on, on Dolphin it is easier. On, on the consoles, the PC port just, they don't play the same. On consoles, it's just very simple. Hedgehog that looked like my twin. Leave it to me! It's 30 seconds for the A rank. Ugh, what's this tweet? This is why the Japanese Sonic account is better, they remember heroes. What's this? Let me see. Uh, oh, it's an official post, okay. Today, December 30th, is the release of The GOAT. This year marks the 20th anniversary. It featured a team action where you could freely change three types of formations, speed, fly, and power, and control three characters at the same time. Please tell us your favorite amongst the four unique teams. Well, I mean, I guess it makes sense that the American Sonic Twitter didn't post it. It's the Japanese anniversary, right? You know, like Sonic Adventures 25 in Japan, but it's, you know, it's not yet in America. At least you ain't barely, he would have quit on the fourth try. 
I mean, I've done it before, it's just like... You know, like... Let me actually check something, because it's been a while. I haven't played um, Dolphin in, like, centuries, so... Or at least Heroes on Dolphin in centuries, so... Let me just see if it's really that different or if I'm just tripping. My controller configured. Um, let's just check. Do I have a? I should have a save file on here, right? Which one is this? Pound sixty. Um, let's try this one. Uh, do I play the old PC port of Riders or Dolphin? I play the PC port of Riders as well. But only because you can cheese that so easily with the keyboard. Those sections of the analog stick on the keyboard, you just press left and right at the same time and it cheeses all, all of them. My controller. I did 21 hours on Dolphin? Man, I really do be playing this stuff, shit. Yeah, I, I, I did everything. Yeah, I did everything. I'm missing some emblems, though. Yeah, I'm missing some... I've only got 112. Oh, chaotic section missions, yeah. I can see how I'll skip that. Play Team Kill X Bingo Highway Extra Mission. <laughs> I'm not in the mood for that. Let's actually see if it's really that different. What was with that hedgehog that looked like my twin? I'm here. <laughs> not the best way to greet those you haven't seen in a while. Wait. Got it. Got got it. Got it. My controls are wrong. <laughs> I tried to press the attack button, didn't attack. Hold on. What have I set these controls to? Uh, that should be the GameCube controller. The attack button is B, right? Yeah, the attack button is B on the GameCube. Uh, God, I've forgotten all this. So that means that B should be square, right? This should be A, that should be B. Then triangle should be X, and then Y, right? Mm. No, X is the one to the right. X is the one to the... Uh, so X should be circle, and then Y should be that. And then B should be that, right? Yeah. I think that's it. The start is that. Okay. Ugh. Let's try that again. Am I into iCarly? That's the best Nickelodeon show, so I'll say yeah. Let's blast through with Sonic Speed! Okay! Alright! Easy way to remember X and Y axes. I suck at remembering those too, so. You know. What was with that hedgehog that looked like my twin? I'm here! That's the best way to greet those you've ever seen in a while! Take this! One less supporter. Now I shall destroy you all. Annihilate Take this! Take this! Annihilate John! Annihilate John! Annihilate John! Annihilate John! Annihilate John! Don't you remember us yet? You see what I'm? Uh, you see what I mean, man? You see what I mean? If only we had more time. Ugh. Anyway, I proved the point I was trying to prove. I'm still gonna do it on PC though because it, uh, I still have to do it on PC. I, I have to so. We're still gonna do it here. No, I'm not, I'm not taking that cop out. We're doing it on the PC version!
with the unpredictable AI, it's basically RNG. Still gonna do it. Still gonna do it here. One less supporter. Now I shall destroy you all. Shadow, die, please, die, please. It looked like my twin. Being this haunt, were you playing on PC though? What was with that hedgehog that looked like my twin? The PC version is just like. Right next to Omega, and then he won't fall. Gonna get a team boss. I'm not giving up, chat. We don't do that, okay? We're gonna get it. It's simple RNG. And the laws of RNG dictate that you do it enough times, eventually it will happen. What was with that hedgehog that looked like my twin? <laughs> okay, I was I would I wouldn't I wouldn't say that because of this. They stop time and they just they just there waiting. Leave it to me. Hey, hey, I'll take it from here. Hey, level up. Here we go. Don't take it from 
Saying that make him the leader when in speed formation. See, I think the thing about like the SA2 arrow battles is it wasn't like get them off the arena, it was like kill them. Right? It was ring that's based. If it was a case of just get them to like run out of rings or whatever, or just give them a health bar or whatever, then then you know what you're doing. Just hit them. But when it's like get them off the arena, this is kind of one of the reasons why I prefer like Street Fighter to like Smash. I prefer just like health-based fighting games to like the get them off. Cause even a team blast ain't a guarantee of anything. You, you use a team blast, then nothing happens. You never knew the PC voice would be that painful to A rank. Well, I mean, this is the main thing, really. Cause everything else, the hardest thing to A rank is still the extra mission for Bingo Highway Team Chaos. That's the hardest thing to A rank in the whole game. This is RNG. Like you could get this first try. I'm just clearly not having one of those days today. Usually I'll just take the lower rank and just be cool with it, but we want some anniversary shit, so I gotta do it. I gotta do it, man. I gotta do it just this one time. What was with that hedgehog that looked like my twin? Yeah, on console, this shit is simple. On console, it's simple. You see what I mean? There's no strategy to the shit! There's no strategy to the shit! There's no strategy to the shit! You just hope for the best, man. You just hope for the best, man. I'm sorry, Sonic. I'll chill out. My bad. My bad. I'm sorry. Ugh. Ugh. Alright, now that that A rank is no longer eating up my soul, we A ranked everything. Now we can. Now we can finish this shit off. Okay. Let's go back to my main file. Alright, main file. We're gonna do one more boss, and then we're moving on to Metal Overlord. Alright? This is one of the most fun bosses in the whole game. And you'll see why in a second. Here we go! <clears throat> yeah, let's go! Get them! Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Something strange about the Don't worry about it. We've got to take care of We'll see why this boss is so cool in a second. Those of you who don't already know where I'm going with this. Liam <laughs> Moose. I'm gonna hit that a lot. The reason why this boss is so good in, on Chaotix is because every team boss in, in each team they have separate abilities or separate afterburner effects. Chaotix's effect is that they get rings, but you see, rings build up your team boss gauge. So guess what happens? This is what happens. Thank you. Thank you. Here we go. 
Anytime you're ready. We're outnumbered. There's so many of them. It's an endless sea of robots. Again? Again? And you still get more rings. The team boss hasn't run out yet. Of boss battles. I for one like the majority of the forces of boss battles, I don't know why. Smart, not harder. Awesome. Something else that flies around here. Stop playing with me! Time to give up. You're finished. That was too <laughs> easy. <laughs> this is only the beginning. Ugh. Here we go. Beautiful. Just missed the A rank. I might just miss the A rank. It's a three minute A rank, right? Ah, oh, I have to repeat it. Don't get too excited, boys. You think it's full? Man, if I missed it, I gotta redo it. Yeah. Ugh. Ah! Cool. Alright, nice. Metal Man. Actually, wait. Before we do Metal Man, actually, let's go to. Let's do it from the story mode. Get the cutscenes in there. We finish this off, and then we end the stream. Then who was it? Who locked you up here for trying to conquer the world? It was. It was. Time for the coolest transformation sequence. Ever. Let's be real. Super activate Robot Boy time.
that change. Generate brand new eyes. I haven't seen these classes in ages. I was playing challenge mode. And the egg pools just run away <laughs> randomly. That's Metal Sonic? It's useless. Metal Sonic has combined your data with the power of chaos and is super strong. We can't defeat it. Ugh. If only we had the seven chaos emeralds. And they all pull emeralds out of their butts. What's this? But how? Even with the Emerald's power, our chances for victory are slim. It would take a miracle. Just leave that to me, Doc. Sonic, no! I'm going with you, too! Tails, so you're going with Sonic? You're gonna bitch in the corner? Okay, guys. Well, oh, it's a relief! That way you can use your superpowers. Time for the least cringe line in the whole game. Let's get ready to do this. So that creep the real superpower of teamwork! <laughs> <laughs> oh god. You're the one who's heading for me, Sonic! You're the one who's running! Sonic! Pull up! I can't believe you with you! You're going to pay for this! Oh, dear, you are <laughs> When I was really good, I could finish this before the team must even run out. Nowadays, I'm not that quick. It's not cringe because you grew up with it, that's how it works. I mean, it was kind of cringe back then. But you know, it was the goat, so exceptions were made. Incomplete free. Now's the time to strike. You're all useless now that I'm cutting all your data. Incomplete free. Man, I don't need to tell me call you a freak. We call you an incomplete freak. Lord, you gonna be embarrassed by that shit. Again. Oh, he's gonna do that shit. I could just go straight for the team boss, but I have to wait for him to finish. Oh, I'm already waiting. Go oh, one more. Ugh. I'm talking like a wash up after. They set off the 24, your, your reflexes start slowing down, okay? Leave me alone. the trapping thing as well. Might as well get a team boss. I miss when Charmy had personality was allowed to be annoying and funny and I was just playing. Hey, I feel you, man. People complain that Charmy's voice is too annoying in here. But he was meant to be kind of annoying. He was a six-year-old kid. You know, like, there was no walk in the park. That's all I'm saying, but that was kind of the point. There we go. Son, we're counting on you. Ah, I won't fall for it. 
to have a robot overlord over robot kingdom. Using a speed character in this boss is too risky. I mean, yeah, it's definitely risky, but you can. If your speed character is leveled up. All of a sudden, you can now fly with those wings. Defying the laws of physics with that, but, you know. Tails and Knuckles, don't worry, I'll give you a little bubble, you know, don't steal my shine, alright, you got a bubble, alright, super's for me, turn it up, turn it up, turn it up. greatest vocal theme in the franchise, all rise, for the national anthem, Like rent was due. It probably was due too. Sega don't be paying them enough, do they? I ain't been grabbing no rings. There we go. How was this song of the symphony? I posted a short of it actually. Yeah. But I guess Johnny was too cool to come to the UK, so. On. No. Simple curiosity, trying to take a bite of me. Let me show you just what I'm made of now. Yeah, we did it. That was pretty tough. Too bad it's all over for you. Ah, go, go. That was my best time. Best time. I think that's a thing. End to this anniversary stream. Breaking records out here. Breaking records. Sonic Definitely not cringe at all. We are Sonic Heroes. 
just let me know. I'll be waiting. Hey, Sonic, wait up! Sorry to leave like this, but I can't let my friends... Remember when Amy used to be a cheerleader? <laughs> Sonic sure has his hands full. I guess I'm out of here, too. I think I'll go hunt for someone else's tree. <laughs> she never gives up, does she? Oh, no, you don't. Wait! Guess that's it for this case. Yes. Slime bowl? But what about our money? Man, I almost forgot. That slime bowl! <laughs> Eggman had the hardest line in this game, though. Eggman had the hardest line in this game, though. He said, as soon as I conquer the world, I will pay you. <laughs> Bitch. This is real life. Talking about when you conquer the world, you pay me. Rent is due. I don't know why that line is just so hilarious. Like, I'm about to wait for bro to conquer the whole world before he pays me the money he owes me. Like, Bitch, if you don't pay me my money. Yo, what's up, Red Hot Sonic? This was released in the UK 2nd February 2004. This is the first anniversary, right? The Japanese date is the OG date. Besides, I can't pass up the opportunity to stream the GOAT, right? Ugh. Ugh. Duh. The GOAT. Sonic Hero Find you can find you defying your way Sonic Hero Setting the stage for a hero's parade Is this a 10 out of 10 game? I mean the inner fanboy in me wants to be like, yep, yeah, perfect I mean there's some bosses that, you know a few bosses I'm like, eh. Levels wise though, like, god. Like, super hard mode is just levels. No bosses, no special stages. Super hard mode is a 10 out of 10 playthrough. Like, super hard mode is a 10 out of 10 playthrough. Still gonna try out Super Armor. Oh, Super Armor is really fun, man. It's basically just harder teamed up, but with teams on it. Hero, 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 hero. Oh, wait, it's not that far yet. Okay. It's a long version. Try Super Oh my, I already done that. Us a reason and we're on our way. Ugh. Why are the credits in 4K resolution? Well, because the game's in 4K, right? The game's in 4K, so you know. You know how it be. Ugh. Anyway, that's enough goat in for one night. Um, let's end off the uh, stream. They were super tiny. I mean, Adventure One does that as well. SADX, when you raise the resolution, everything becomes tiny. I think better SADX, you know, those Dreamcast conversions and all that shit. I think they fixed that. But before they fixed that, I used to play Adventure. In fact, I've, I've got old videos up that probably show you. Where is it? 
Yeah, eight years ago, overpowered Sonic mod, right? Let's look at the HUD on that. Look how tiny the HUD is. That shit's crazy. You can barely see the shit. Everything's like stuck in the middle of the screen, like... Oh, adventure. Ugh, oh, bro. Can I do your game next stream? You talk about Sonic 3 Air? Or like another game? I, I feel like I've streamed Sonic 3 Air before. Uh, at some point. I don't know if I named it a Sonic 3 Air stream or I just named it something else, but. But I've definitely streamed Sonic 3 Air before. That's been fixed since, I guess, for Heroes it hasn't. Yeah, I mean, people don't really mod Heroes like that. Mainly because people don't even know there's a PC port a lot of the time. Apparently it's, like, not that common knowledge. You know? I guess it makes sense since they never released it digitally on, on PC. So... They actually did put it on PlayStation Network years later, as you can see here. But it's just EU and Japan. So for America, like the last time this game was released was November 2004 on Windows, or like January 2004 for like GameCube, Xbox, PS2. Search for up Sonic Hoodie makes good videos. Can't believe Sonic 3 is almost 30. Yeah, I mean Sonic 2 is 30. Sonic 3 is coming up on 30. You know. It's like 10 a.m. in Japan. That's crazy. Anyway, man. Ugh. Man, they really peaked, man. They really peaked. They really just peaked, man. They just, you know. They just peaked. Um, they really peaked. That's kind of fly. That's kind of fly, actually. They really peaked, man. Um, what can I say? I don't know what else to say, man. They really peaked. They really peaked. Uh, uh, what else can I say? Um, is Frontiers really going to be the peak Sonic game of this decade? Well, if history serves us correctly, Sonic Team tends to peak at the start of the decade. With a few exceptions, right? But like, the start of the 90s was Sonic 1, 2, 3K. The start of the 2000s was pretty much Adventure 1. I mean, it came out like September 99 in the West. We was playing that shit in the 2000s, let's be real. SA2, Heroes. The start of the 2010s was Generations, right? You know? Like, they tend, Sonic Team tend to just have this, like, they start the decade strong and then they just kind of, oh, we, we have to keep making good games? Oh, I didn't realize. So, Frontiers might be there, like, you know, we started strong for the decade kind of thing. And then they let it fizzle out again. I don't know. We'll see. They peaked at the end of the 2000s too. I mean, okay, look. Obviously, I loved a lot of the things that came out in the 2000s. I'm just saying, in terms of like reception-wise, they tend to they tend to peak early in the decade. I forgot to mention the goat colors. The who? Yeah. When I think of 2010, I don't think of colors. I think of Assassin's Creed. You know, I think of actual heat.
What's my favorite Sonic model? The 06 model. Without a doubt, the 06 model. The OG one. CD was at the beginning of a decade. Yeah, I mean, not everything was good, okay? There were some there were some flubs, okay. Am I gonna make a year in review type video for this year? We'll see. We will see. We'll see. Ah. Mmm. The goat, man. I wish I had one picture of me playing Heroes when I was a kid. I just wish there was one photo. Nowadays, everyone's got smartphones. They can just take pictures of everything. Back then, though, you know, it just wasn't like a thing you did every day. You know, we still had analog cameras. I mean, my dad had a digital camera. We only really used that on holidays and shit like that. But yeah, like, I wish I had one picture of me as a kid playing here. Just one. You know, that would have been great. Just one. Just like a look at that picture and be like, man, he was experiencing the greatest thing ever. He didn't know it was never gonna be surpassed. Or he just didn't know. You know, he, he didn't know. How did my gaming rep for the year look? I mean, Steam had one. I think Sony had one. I think even Nintendo had one. I didn't check the Nintendo one. But what I played the most this year was, in terms of hours, was Street Fighter 6, Crash Team Rumble, Spider-Man 2, you know, games like that, really. I guess technically Frontiers, because of the updates, I played that a good amount. And even Superstars, because, well, I streamed it, and Trip Mode took ages. Ugh. Twenty years, man. Crazy. Crazy, man. Will we get the multimedia era talk with Sam, Matt, and crew. I don't know. I'll have to see. I'll have to see, man. I got no idea. Um, I think I've said all I need to say, honestly. Um, something happened with Zippo. Yeah, his blog got taken down. My guess, the Nintendo Ninjas. He was dropping mad game on Nintendo Switch shit. Talking about Mario Kart X and the new 3D Mario is gonna be like open world. Not like Odyssey sandbox, but like open, open, like Breath of the Wild type shit. And they're saying that's like a launch tile for Switch 2. Basically, the you need to buy a Switch 2 because the new 3D Mario is going to be insane type game. You know. He was dropping some gems, so... Like, if, if he's right and this new 3D Mario is really about to be like open wall, like some next level shit... It's going to be crazy, right? He, they, they might just have Game of the Year for 2024. Although I am a Prince of Persia fanboy, so we'll see. Other than a sequel, what could make a game better than Heroes? I don't know what could make a game better than Heroes other than a sequel. I said before that, like, um, an Adventure 1 remake that was done really well, like, like exactly the way I wanted it to be done, would probably be my second favorite Sonic game. Adventure 1 remade exactly right, not like done wrong, I know, you know what wrong is, right, there's a lot of things that can get wrong, An Adventure 1 remake done like right, that would be my number two favorite, that would be the closest you could get to Heroes outside of a sequel of Heroes or something like that, Adventure 1 is just really the truth, it really is, um, but it's just, it's so dated in a lot of ways, and it's like, 
to remake it, you gotta keep the things that worked and improve the things that didn't work as well or that are just dated. And it's a very fine line because you don't want them to replace certain things. You don't want them to make it too scripty. You don't want them to make it the current voice cast. Let's be real. Like, it's, it's, a, it's a very fine line. To remake Adventure correctly, I don't believe Sonic Team could do it properly. No. There'll be something wrong with it, right? Only a fan could do something that dedicated. Maybe one day. I feel you, like, I prefer SA1 to 06, but 06 just got that added modern feel. In a way, yeah, like, I put 06 over SA1 because, like, 06 had that, like, modern aesthetic to it. It just felt next-gen, right? It was the first next-gen Sony game, right? Which is kind of why I like it a bit more. But I feel like SA1, with that modern aesthetic, you know, that modern, like, coat of paint, it's the truth, man. It's really the truth, right? And they could do some crazy online shit too if they added like online multiplayer with a remake. You know, added a ranking system with a remake. You know, even heroes, if they got a remaster, you could add S ranks to the game. You know, make them even harder. I don't know. Online multiplayer. You got a new monitor. Spider Man 2 on an actual monitor, not 2015 cheap TVs and sync. Oh, yeah, like, I remember when I upgraded my TV. We had an old-ass 1080p small TV. We got a 4K one. <laughs> it's, it's like night and day. You know, sometimes you just gotta upgrade your shit. Ugh. Do you trust Nintendo with a Sonic remake given the track record? That's interesting. I mean... They did that Super Mario RPG remake, right? That was well received. Are people complaining about that? I haven't bought it yet, but you know. A remake is a slippery slope for the main reason because aside from just being incompetent and just making a bad remake, there's there's design decisions, right? What do we keep exactly the same? What do we change, right? It's the same like kind of thing I was talking about with PO6, right? I feel like too much changed and it wasn't enough option to keep it the way I like. Versus like a Sonic 3 Air, which is not really a remake, it's a remaster, but there's like options for everything. If you want it to be the exact way it was before, you can do that. If you want it to be like, they got the remaster music, they got the OG music. Do you want it to be like Sonic 3? Do you want it to be like Sonic and Knuckles with this song, with the invincibility theme or what? It's so like, you could just play it exactly the way you want. But when companies tend to do remakes, they tend to be like, this is the way you're playing it. That's it, right? If you don't like it, play the old game kind of thing. And that's what I feel like they'll do with an Adventure 1 remake. A lot of the free moving sections will become hella scripted to make it easier for the casual player. And there won't be an option to keep that free moving likeness to it, right? You know? It's just one of those things. Like Frontiers, like we all had those debates about the rail momentum, how it just keeps you moving forward. That could have been a toggle where it's like don't keep me moving forward, right? I don't want to keep moving forward. Let me have free control of the rail. You know, but there's no option for that. And they added some options to Frontier. It's not like they added nothing. But it's just like, companies never go the extra mile when it comes to those kind of options, right? It's fans who do that shit. Because they're, they, they, they're doing it out of passion. You know? Yeah, Remake usually is the casual opinions. So, an adventure remake... The thing I loved about like the Adventure Era 1, 2 and Heroes, like, it's just there was a bit more freedom in the movement. And yeah, that, that means sometimes a script would break. Sometimes a thing wouldn't work properly. Maybe you're supposed to hold forward and you didn't. Maybe you're supposed to press nothing and then you pressed forward. But some things would break as a result of that. But if the alternative is to just lock your controls all the time, then you feel like you're not doing anything. So it's like, I'll take a bit of jank to have that freedom of movement like I did in the Adventure Era over everything being scripted. Like, would they take the real momentum out of SA2? Like, if they remade SA2 and then, like, Final Rush, would the rails just move you forward on their own? Like, Sky Rail, would the rails just move you forward on their own? Like, no, like, balancing, no keeping your speed? Like, we you just go on the rail and it just takes you there? Like, would it all just be, like, simplified for the casuals, for the masses? 
And could I even blame them for doing that when, like, Movie 3 is about to be a hit? As I said before, if they remade Adventure 1 and 2, streamlined it for the casual masses, made it simpler for them, it makes logical sense. Because the casuals are going to buy that Adventure 1 and 2 remake pack after the Movie 3 hype, they're not going to want to balance on the rails like we did. They're not going to want to have to do a homing attack without a radar radical thing. They're not going to want that shit. They want it to be streamlined. Right? That's how you get the casual market. But certain companies or certain franchises know how to keep those options available. Like God of War, you know, the, the newer games, like, they got serious difficulty options in there. Like, you can play it on the, I just want to experience the story mode, but they still got the hard shit in there. They don't take it away. The Sonic team, they're just going to pick, this is the way, and like, just deal with it, right? And then all the source is going to be gone. You know that part of Emerald Coast where you can like spin dash up the rock before you get to the Windy and Ripley section? Would that still be there in a remake? Or was that a bug? Would they take that out? Like how much how much source would be taken out in an effect of streamlining? That's not even getting into the basic shit like voice acting changes which you could mod to try and fix that. But like, the fundamental shit, how much of it are they gonna just strip of its core? And that's that's just that's just how I feel. You know. The Final Horizon should show you how Kishimoto feels about casuals. I mean, that is a bit of a shift, I'll give you that. But when it comes to remaking the adventure games, I don't know. I just I wouldn't trust them. You know. Only people I trust are like fans who really are about that shit. Like the adventure era versions of Christian Whitehead kind of shit. Like, like, they live and breathe this shit. It's in their blood. You know, like, Whitehead, that shit's in his blood. He's not, he's not, he's not here to cash in. He's here to, like, he understands Classic Sonic and he, you know, Whitehead made CD levels fun. Like, how do you do that? He's a wizard. You need that. You know? You need that, man. One of those things. Yo, John X, donated five dollars. He said, "Hey, Prime, if you still got a PS3, would you consider modding it? Just ask him." Ah, where is my PS3? I don't remember where I put my PS3. It's definitely not plugged in. Um, there's very few things I'll play on it today, so I, you know, I haven't, you know. But thank you for the donation. Fallen Kai's donated $1 and said, Have you played the Frontiers update in Trip Mode and Superstars? I know you have. No way they're going to make things easy for casuals. They didn't even make it fair for us. Are you, are you saying there was an update to Trip Mode, or are you talking about the regular Trip Mode? Because I beat regular Trip Mode, and that was not easy. But as for the Frontiers update, I haven't done that yet. So, I mean, we'll have to see later. So, thank you for the donation. Someone said play CD for the 30th anniversary. Yeah, I'm good on that. I'm, I'm, I'm cool. I'm cool on that. <laughs> uh, as for regular trip mode, yeah, I stream regular trip mode. You can see me rage on that in the supersonic ending. See, critics are supposed to be the line of you can't just cater to casuals, go get all good scores, but they make a casual too. But you see, the thing about critics is that most gamers are casual in most genres of gaming. And it's like one, maybe two genres where they actually know what they're fucking doing, right? You know what I mean? Like, like I'm pretty decent at an arcade racer. I'm pretty decent at a platformer like a Sonic or like something parkour heavy like a Prince of Persia, you know? I suck at things like stealth. Right, stealth, I'm just not good at stealth, right? Everyone's got their strengths, and a lot of these reviewers, Sonic is not their favorite franchise. They don't get reviewers who, their favorite franchise is Sonic. They get people who play other shit, who may be good at some other genre of gaming. But when it comes to Sonic, they're like, dolly, like, so that's why they keep complaining that it's too frustrating. Because, like, if I go and play something that I know I'm not good at, like a first-person shooter, I'm just gonna fucking suck. I play that shit on easy difficulty. If I, if the story was that good, 
and I, it looked interesting. I might just cop a game like an FPS just to play it on an easy difficulty, just to experience it or whatever. Because I know, like, I'm never going to be playing high difficulty on an FPS. It's, I don't like the twitchy movement. My head starts spinning, you know, that kind of shit. But on a platformer, I can't play a platformer on base level difficulty. I can't, my pride won't let me, right? And that's just what it is, right? These reviewers, they're not, they're not focused on that shit. They're not Sonic guys. They're not Sonic fans on the level of, like, we play this shit on the hardest shit. They're not getting people that beat Final Horizon and Trip Mode to review the games. They're getting people that play a bunch of shit, you know, maybe play Mario on co-op, you know, they're not really about this life. So of course they're gonna be like, it's too hard, it's too frustrating, yada yada yada, you know, it's just how it is. Sonic is still a very niche franchise, his gameplay style only attracts so much from a casual crowd. I think... I mean, the thing is, the casual crowd thinks of Sonic as... as person who goes fast and the only way to make fast gameplay easy is to really just strip it back of any serious challenge and then you're left with forces and clearly that wasn't gonna work because forces is mid so you know maybe it's a case of just accept like on some Mega Man shit right just accept that the shit is hard and the people that will play it will play it there's a core fan base they'll come back but you're not gonna get the mainstream support like on some Mega Man shit. Just accept that this shit is tough. You know? But, like, I don't know. If you want the mainstream market, that's what party games are for, right? Look at Mario, right? 3D Mario doesn't really miss, right? What is the weakest 3D Mario game? Sunshine? I don't know. 3D Mario doesn't miss. And yet, none of them are sold more than Mario Kart. At the end of the day, right? The casual Mario fan will play Mario Kart 8 before they play a 3D Mario game, right? Mario Kart 8 is huge. It's huge. I know people, like, that they, they don't own no Nintendo systems, but if I bring out the Switch, yeah, we'll play some Mario Kart. It's Mario Kart, right? They're not gonna play Sonic Heroes or me. They ain't gonna play no Riders. Unless Riders had, like, easier options, I guess. But Mario Kart's got 50cc. Man, your dad could play 50cc. You don't play no games, he could play 50cc. And if he's struggling, they'll give him a bullet bill. You know, like, that's why they have these party games, right? That's what they're there for. You know, it keeps the franchise getting big sales while the hardcores will still show up for the 3D Marios. Even the 2D Marios are pretty big, but the 2D Marios, like, that's what they're there for, right? 200cc, like, is, I play 200cc, like, it's chill. Like, I wouldn't say chill, but it's like, I play it. But if I bring it over to my friend's house, like, they're gonna be like, uh, oh, 200 is a bit too much for me. Can you, can we do 150? All right, cool, we'll do 150. Like, that's that's what it's there for. Because I used to sit there and go, does anyone really play on, like, 50 and 100? The casuals do. They do. Right? Even when I was a kid, I never liked playing on 50 and 100. Like, but I was a Sonic fan, right? What the fuck am I going to do with 50cc? Right? But that's what it's there for. If they ever made a Sonic Riders Ultimate, they're going to have to have some, like, multiple modes type shit like a mode that's like a more of a party mode that's got like more handicaps and power-ups and shit and you can and you know like your Mario Kart's got the um the thing where it turns and drives for you yeah riders like could have like a a mode where like if you're a kid playing you don't have to do all the tricks and fuel management but if you're a pro then you can do the tricks and the fuel management like shit like that like options right so if you're playing with your your family and friends and whatnot, they can play with like a handicapped board that the tricks are like zero gravity, like basically basic as fuck. And then for those who really know what they're doing, it's like OG riders with the trick system and the rankings and all that. Like you have to like merge the two. That's what these kind of big games do, is they merge the two. If you can't do that, then someone's always gonna get hurt. That's all I'm saying. You know? You have to merge the two. So if they can figure that out, like, I, I, like, as I sit here, like, Sonic Riders Ultimate would probably be the most popular Sonic game if executed correctly, marketed correctly, Sonic Riders Ultimate could be the Sonic game that does, like, 10 million units, and people keep coming back, and they add new tracks as DLC, it could be that thing. No one wants to play All-Stars Racing Transformed 2. No one gives a fuck, okay? 
it's just another Mario Kart. They're just going to look at it. The, the reviewers will take one look at it and go, but we have Mario Kart. That's what they're going to do. Like, real talk. Okay, cool. It's another kart racer. Cool, cute. Sonic's got a kart racer. Riders? Who owns that? Hoverboards? Like, that's Sonic shit. Like, I mean, he didn't invent hoverboards, but you know what I mean. Like, Riders Ultimate is their ticket to big boy money if they know how to do it well. If they know how to do it well. You had the whole fucking cast in that game. You could have the whole cast in the game. You could have tracks from so many different areas of Sonic. You could have. Angel Island, and then you can fucking have Emerald Coast, and then you can have City Escape in there with the gun truck, and then you can have Grand Metropolis in there, and then you could have fucking Starlight Carnival in there, and then you could have like Ares Island in there, and then like in one game, are you telling me that shit wouldn't sell if you did it properly? If you promoted it properly, like alongside the movie or something, and you got and I. Like, if they wanted to go the extra mile, like, you could have skins in there, like, if you play a Shadow, it's like, do you want to play as, like, 05 model, you know, like, you want to play as 06 model, you want to play as, like, Movie Shadow, like, there's so much content there, so much, even if it was, like, you know, pay additional money for the cosmetic shit, as long as it's not gambling, people will be paying for that shit just to get costumes and characters and shit. If it got really big, then you bring in the Sega characters. You bring in I, I you bring in everyone, BD Joe. I, I don't know, man. I just, I feel like it's just, it's, it's such a slept on thing, you know. I've been saying that for ages. Like Riders Ultimate and the Sonic version of Mario Maker, they need games that just get, that people just keep playing, keep playing. I mean, Frontiers is good, but like it's a single player game. You play it, you're done. It's over, right? You need the continuous shit, right? Like, I put way more hours into Mario Kart than I put into Odyssey. Do I really believe Mario Kart 8 is superior to Mario Odyssey? I don't, I don't know. But 8's gonna get more hours out of me, for sure. For sure. You know? You would hate a Sonic level maker, but you love Riders Ultimate. But why would you hate a Sonic level maker, though? Like, if people were really going in there designing some of the craziest levels, you wouldn't want to play that? I don't know, man. I feel like if they did a Sonic level maker, and you could you could do like classic levels, you could do like advanced rush, you know, even classic generation style. If you want to go there, I just feel like that would be crazy. The amount of levels you'd be able to play, with a good rating system too, so that the quality levels rise to the top. I, I just don't see how that wouldn't be fun. Zuka outright rejects having a Sonic make. Yeah, I remember he said in the interview he wouldn't do it. What about Green Hill though? Sure, if they make a Riders Ultimate, they could put Green Hill in there if they want. You know, it's not as cool as Metal City, but it's, you know, I guess it would be. I mean, it would have to be there at that point, right? Then again, Mario Kart doesn't have one one in it, so you know. I love how every Sonic Zone is unique with its own gimmicks and its own thing, and I feel like this would betray that. But I mean, if you're using a, a certain level to make your level, then you'd be able to have access to the gimmicks of that level, right? Like, you know, if you're making, I don't know, what's a good gimmick to use as an example? If you're making a, a Sandopolis Act 2 type level, then you'd have access to the ghost system, right? Like, you'd have access to whatever's in that level, so you can make whatever you want. I don't see why he wouldn't be able to do that. Oh shit, the music's fading out. Holy shit, we've been talking that long? My god. Um. Alright, let's. We gotta end the stream now. I've been going too long. A Sonic level maker would be really complex because of how different Sonic level design is. I mean, it'll be more complex than Mario Maker, sure. Um, but it doesn't really matter though because like the levels would be so good that it would still be worth having it, you know. 
And they'll have they'll have ways to make it easier for those who just want to make simpler levels. But for those who want to really grit their teeth into it, I think they'd go the extra mile. I think. Slime just doesn't have any good multiplayer content to sustain longevity. Yeah, I mean, what have we got in terms of multiplayer, like, longevity content? Like, Speed Simulator? Is that it? It just needs something like that. You know? And when I think of those things, I, I think of Riders Ultimate and a Sonic Maker. Those are, like, the things. You know? Like, what else would they do for longevity type content, right? Those are the two main things I can think of. I mean, those are the two things Mario did. Well, not riders, but like kart races. I mean, they also had other stuff. Like, Mario's got tons of spin-offs, but you know what I mean. A good Sonic fighting game could do numbers. Yeah, I mean, it would be no Smash, but they could still do that. If they really supported it, like they, like they weren't playing around, like the characters were there, the stages were there. You know, they had good party modes for casuals, so it's not just, like, competitive only. You know, like, I mean, I would copy it, like, I would copy it if it was fun. They already got their money maker with Forces Speed Bell. I mean, yeah, sure, I mean, phone games do make a lot of money. Of course, I actually want them to make something that's actually, like, quality and not just played on the phone, but, you know. You think Sonic's characterization is at its best in SA2 Heroes, Rush, and Forces? Really? Forces? Mm. I don't know about that. <sighs> but anyway, it's 1.30 a.m. on the 30th of December. Um, 30th of December, also known as 20 years to the day. The greatest game ever created was released. Um, yeah. Heroes is the GOAT. So glad I was able to celebrate it. I guess I'll be back at the quarter century point. Um, yeah. Uh, amazing game, man. Amazing game. 2024 going to be interesting for Sonic. Well, hopefully that Sonic and Shadow game does happen. Um, we'll see. I might have one more thing to post for the end of the year, we'll see. But yeah, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell for content comes into the channel. But yeah, man, thanks you guys for watching. It's been real. The Remy out.